Yeah, yeah, so we got him right here. Philly Swain, you there? Yeah, yeah. Yo, what up, yeah, man? Yo, uh, I don't know. I don't know if you got to hear any of it. Uh, what, 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 what do you think about going to a battle freestyling three rounds, yo? So I did it a lot, a lot of times. So I did classics <laughs> that y'all fuck with where I freestyled all three rounds. I mean, I wouldn't do it now, but, yeah, I've done it before. Definitely yeah, I guess. Done it before. Yeah, you know, so, uh, when I first heard about you, it was with your battle versus Hollow with uh um it's me dad you know what i'm saying and i feel like that that was a lot closer battle than than people give it credit for why do you think howell took off in that manner and uh, well i wouldn't even really say you didn't but like you, you kind of took a break from battle rapping right yeah because i mean i got endorsements my music pop a lot of different shit like i'll be making money all year round not just when it's time to battle Right, 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 right. So, like, after the hollow battle, like, battle rapping wasn't your main concentration. Do you feel like if you would have stayed focused and stayed on that path that you could possibly be, like, against Flux right now? Or do you not even want to think about shit like that? No, it's not really my thing. Like, hollow my man. So, like, when I talk to hollow, hollow, like, right now, hollow on me because he want me to get him some records. Like, how long, no, that's what I really do. I get, re I, I do records. Like, even before this, I was VP of uh, Entre Records that turned into Philly Town. You know about Entre Records. You know, they put out, a, you know, some classic stuff. Y'all can look that up. But before Battle Rap, that's what I was doing. It's just I went on 106 and Art and Direct gassed me to do Grind Time. So it never really was my thing all like that. It's just something I was able to do from doing time in jail. You know, when you're in jail, you got to be able to, freestyle in five seconds or you lose the crown on the chair. That's how it worked. So I ain't, I was never like super battle rap dude. You know, I just wanted to get my music out there and get people to hear me and it worked. You know what I'm saying? So whereas though now I can get more for walking through a club like than I can get doing a battle. And that's, that's like that's I'm where at. it's hard for me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I step away from battling so much because it don't really, it don't, do as much for me as doing my music and BMX and hoop culture and all them other sponsors I got. And that's what's up too. And then when you battled PH, it, it it seemed like you didn't try it. And even in the passwords battle, you were like, oh, "Thanks for Poison Pan for letting me re use those recycled lines." You know what I mean? Dumping ground, something like that. I forgot the exact line, but I mean you acknowledge that you really didn't uh, give it your main attention. Do you feel like that's what it was with the PH battle because you were just so focused on other shit at the time? I feel like I feel like it's like this. If you if you say, yo, that shit was hot, then you go take a dump and you change your mind, I can't cater to that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the battle rappers, they go crazy. Like, they don't have no money. They broke. They socks probably dirty. And they ain't worrying about that. They more worried about how you feel. I don't be caring how y'all feel. I still get booked because of my fan base. You know what I'm saying? I got my own fans. Like, I got little white kids that do willies on bikes. They don't really care. They still going to tune in. That's the difference. When my battles come out, they go on BMX sites and stuff like that. So people are always going to book me. You know what I'm saying? It's not yeah. my life. It's just something I do, and I can do it against some of the best. So that say a lot when... I still, I'm still dropping two, three mixtapes and making moves and writing for some of the biggest artists in the game, and dudes is only battling. That's all they do, and I can still get in front of them. You feel me? Right, and I, I mean, you know, a lot of people actually gave you the win against Passwords, I believe. You know what I mean? So it's not like after the PH battle that you completely fell off. Well, let me explain something to you so y'all have a, a guided understanding. My fans... Well, you won't, you won't run into them online, bro. You know what I'm saying? My fans is in the hood. They're going to watch it. They're not going to comment. They're not going to go to your blog sites. they not. I don't cater to the to the nerds and the people that's all online all into it. I cater to the people that come from nothing that's on the corner that don't care about who won. They just care if a nigga put in work. You know what I'm saying? Unless you, like, all, like, it's a, it's an opinionated sport. It's everybody's opinion. It's not boxing where a dude can get knocked out. If you're physically on the ground, you got knocked out. 
Battling is not like that. Battling is a matter of who feels what at what time. It's bitches that don't know nothing about nothing. They just say whoever's cuter one or whoever <laughs> the crowd was louder for one. You know what I'm saying? So if you yeah. get caught up in that, it's like DMX said, I don't take the love. I take the love and the hate the same. It doesn't matter if you say, oh, I'm the shit, or you say, I ain't the shit, because if I get caught up in that, then I'm not going to be able to function. These, these battle rappers can't function because of y'all critiquing them. That's why they music sucks ass, because they get on their music and try to think it's a battle. Even they love songs be sounding like they try to make it the most lyrical shit in the world, and that's not music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, that's yeah. what's up. And, 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 you know, it's funny, too, because I was I, I had a conversation with you. It's like, you asked something to say there, or? No, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, I had a conversation with you the other day, you know, when when we got we got you on for Monday, and you know uh, we were talking about the daylight situation, where um, yeah. like I you know I said daylight got in your face. Me and Psycho have talked about it on the show plenty of times. Uh, you know, like he he seems to always be more he try the intimidation factor, like even with math and shit when he's at home. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like he took advantage of the fact that he was at home? And there, there was some other shit that you wanted, that you had to say about that battle to get off your chest. So I'm going to let you explain that whole, like, what, what you want to say about that battle. And that, do you think that he does feel more comfortable at home and tries to take advantage of that factor? Well, you got to understand this. I know daylight from Jordan Downs. You know what I'm saying? It's not like mm-hmm. I don't know daylight from Jordan Downs. That's a whole different case. So... He in there with active in the homies. I'm in there strapped, and I'm in there with homies. Me, I'm dealing with reality, bro. I'm not going to pull a pistol out and say, yo, Jesse the Rican need to see I'm a gangster. No, it's not happening <laughs> like that. So I told him, chill. It's like if me and you out in public. It's me and you. We know each other. We out in public. If I got a ratchet, it's not for you. It's for if somebody else run up on me. So if you start screaming on me and trying to be stupid, and I'm like, yo, chill. And you're still trying to be hype, and I look around like, okay, he want to be extra in public. Or I could pull the pistol out and shoot you in the mall. <laughs> you, you feel me? He didn't violate, he didn't do, put me in a position where he went past the friendship shit. You know what I'm saying? He just was wild. Yeah. And I was like, yo, dog, chill, bro. Because like, I'm strapped and there's police at the door. You know what I'm saying? Chill, bro. Active and all them niggas, them niggas is real niggas from Watts. That shit ain't no game. If me and Daylight go through some real shit, it would have been a shootout. That shit would have been okay corral in there. You feel me? But when you dealing with real G shit, that don't. That's not real. Like if if he if I if I gave him a pack and he didn't pay me back, and then I came to the battle, then something would have popped off because we got real beef. That was just some. I came there strapped for drama, real drama, not a battle rapper that's just hype, and then the boy active, his homie active said, chill, bro, he ain't on it like that. And he said, all right, I'm going to chill. And he chilled. Otherwise, he would have kept on being hype. It wasn't, he wasn't doing, he wasn't pouring water on me and rubbing his balls in my face. And he was, he don't know them niggas. That's why he do that to them niggas. I know daylight, you feel me? Like, I know yeah. that. That's the difference. And I was shooting a movie. So I was more, that's why I couldn't rap, because I was more disappointed, like, Yo, he's going to act like a motherfucking coon in front of these white people. If you look behind me, it's white people in there, like people that got money that wanted to invest in this movie. And I came to lunch, and we were supposed to do some business. But the business mm-hmm. just went wrong like it usually does in battle rap, you know? So it just went mm-hmm. totally wrong for me. So I'm dealing with it from a business standpoint. That's why I would never, ever do that again in battle rap. If I come to battle rap, I come to rap. I'm not going to bring my strap in the building so if some weird shit jump off, I can do whatever niggas want to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like Mike Tyson said. If a nigga think I'm sweet, he crazy. You feel me? You tripping. <laughs> it's just I got to deal with things. I can't deal with them like I used to, bro. Like, I've been in jail twice for assault. These other niggas have not. They can go to King mm-hmm. of the Dot and battle up in Canada. I can't go to Canada. You know what I'm saying? I can't go to fucking Canada. It's not happening. They're going to stop me at the border. Your record, you can't come here. You know what I'm saying? So it's just different, bro. Like, I can't. I can't be reckless. I put in work for, for money for trying to get shit out in the streets, but the battlegrounds ain't for that, and, and niggas need to stop that shit. You know, I talk to Daylight about that all the time. Like, I really know him. That's why it's so weird. 
Like, I know the nigga. We talk regularly. I talk to him since I talked to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and he's not, it's, that's not it. The nigga just ain't want to look weird when I told him, yo, dog, chill. So he did this theatrical shit, and then his homie said, dog, chill, and he chill. His homie said what he had to say to him, like, yo, man, you getting in his face, too. Because we, we all know I live in L.A. You feel me? So it's not, I'm not in the position of a man. I'm not in it at all. So don't think, oh, because he was, no, it wasn't like that at all. He didn't. He wasn't trying to back me down. It wasn't that type of situation. He was just trying to outgur me like he was being extra. He overdid it. You don't. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I ain't yeah, never yeah, yeah. put my face, face on nobody. He put his face on me. It wasn't like he was shoulder shrugging me or none of that. He just was trying to scream in my face. Like I screamed in people's face, so I had to deal with it. It's just that I was strapped in there and I. You know what I mean? The shit is just different, mm-hmm. man. I come from a different age where it's just different. You're not going to do certain shit unless it's really real. And then I had to realize, like, we at King of the Dot, it's not really real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I battle all in New York, wherever. You know, it never been nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just that was weird. That's the I feel like that's the shit in Battle Rap crazy. But at the same time, Niggas wasn't paying him no mind before he started getting weird. I'm the one that came and said, yo, I'm a battle daylight because everybody was telling me that they was tied up to source and disaster and all these niggas that wasn't from the ghetto holding the torch for L.A. So I mm-hmm. battled daylight as a favor. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, I'll battle yeah. the nigga, whatever. I ain't write nothing. I battle him, Luna, and Fats in the same week and ain't write nothing. Just came to all of them battles and just did my thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I, know, I do that from being in jail. Like, if any, any nigga that battle that know about being in jail, if you that nigga, you got to be ready every time them niggas step up to the plate. You can't write your shit and be. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm really good when it comes to that. But at the same time, I got burnt out doing that, trying to do them three battles in a week, and it didn't look as good as I usually can make it look. You know what I'm saying? But, mm-hmm. I, I mean, at the end of the day, it's niggas who that's all they can do, and they need to give you their best. I'm hearing about this reality show they about to do and all that. That's what's up. You know, that's for them niggas that ain't writing for niggas in the industry, ain't really getting no bread, but through the battle shit, they got to get the best they got to get out of that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be trying to get to these niggas, trying to help them get records so they can get a real record where they ain't just going too hard on a beat that ain't even up to par. You know what I'm saying? Like really trying to get these niggas some money. It's a record business. We could try to keep blowing up battle as much as we want, but it's still a record business. You feel me? It's a record business. No matter how we want to look at it, it's a record business. You get what I'm saying yeah. to you? Yeah, so no, definitely. People, you know, it's, gotta, it's funny. To, my bad. Go, keep going. So somebody got to invest their time. Dog, if you want the answer, yes, it's a huge sacrifice not to be the biggest or one of the biggest battle rappers in the world. But when I was that, it wasn't enough to it for me to turn to my family and be like, yeah, you know, you know, my dad got paper. I can't look at my dad, a person with a, a fucking doctorate, and be like, yeah, I'm this, the number one battle rapper in the world. I'm about to get paid twenty, thirty, forty thousand 40000 this year. People look at me crazy like, okay, so you put 10 years, same 10 years I put into school, you put that into your craft, and you about to get how much? That's just not going to fly how I've been brought up. I've been brought up to dominate business. That's why in 2010 I dropped that album through Sony Red. You know what I'm saying? Due to it being distribution the way it was, I was able to make some money. I dropped the project with Alchemist on iTunes, the It's Sad Project. I was able to make money through having this buzz to do other things, to move to California, to get a house with a pool. You know what I'm saying? Other dudes, they're not living like that because they don't think business-wise. They just think pleasing y'all only. And that's just not that's not going to cut it for me, not being a hustler. Otherwise, I'm going to go back to the streets hustling, and I'm going to keep going in and out of jail battling for y'all. Every time I come home, I'm going to have some new hot shit for y'all. And that's not going to work. Right. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, like, uh, it's funny that you brought up the music business, too, and that the fact that it's all a, a record deal at the end of the day because uh, I know Goods has suggested that somebody brought it up on the show before. They feel like Smack should start a record label with battlers, with 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 their music though, as opposed to like their battles, like um, a mixtape of 
goods, math, you, yourself. You know what I mean? Like, what what would you feel about that? I think that man. I think that man is one hundred million percent good at whatever smack the size of dude. When I was younger, I used to I used to look at all these dudes funny and talk shit and fuck smack and get in all the little politics when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? I battled Hollow almost six years ago. You feel me? So it's like yeah. now that I'm older, it's like yo that if somebody gets shot at one of them events, that shit ain't on nobody but smack and whoever deals with the business. So shouldn't nobody even be speaking about what Smack should do? No offense to Goods, that's my man too. But no, you know, I can't speak on what Smack should be doing. A record label is a <laughs> lot of fucking business. I know niggas in Hollywood, they kids like of rich people. You know, all the rich niggas we've seen yeah. growing up, they got kids. They got all types of money. That don't mean your shit going to pop. I don't want to say exactly. nobody, like, man. But they, I know a lot of people out there trying to get their shit off the ground with millions of dollars, and the shit is just, they throwing yeah, shit into the middle of the... You can't make people listen. You have all the money in the world. You you still can't make people listen to your shit. Man, if it, if, 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 if if some shit was gonna catch on fire like that, it would without smack. Niggas gotta get their own lane. Dumb, dumb family got a whole fan base, with that don't mm-hmm. nobody go about. That don't none of us. We ain't never gonna see nobody really say, yeah, man, I'm a dumb family fan. I got a CD right now, but they out there. <laughs> see, I'm gonna tell you what Poison yeah. Pen told me when I was young, man. When when I was young, Poison Pen pulled me to the side. He said. Yo, listen, bruh. He, he said, you need to understand this about the business. Nigga was drunk as shit, my nigga. But he told me some real ass shit and said, who's your favorite rapper? He said, man, fuck that. Who do you think sold the most records in hip-hop? I said, Eminem. He said, how many records he sold on the album? I said, 10 million. He said, okay, that's 10 million people. It's 460 million people in the U.S. on censor. So on, on census, so that's 450 million people that don't give a fuck about Eminem. You got to call <laughs> out your own 10 million people, you feel me? You got to call yeah. out your own inner people. You can't be trying to take all Smacks fans and, oh, these Battle Rap fans need to listen to my shit. No, Battle Rap fans are there for Battle Rap. If a, if a motherfucking basketball star starts making a CD, people don't be trying to hear that shit. They want to see that <laughs> play ball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I never put my life into that shit because that wasn't my goal. Niggas get in that shit, that be their goal, then they realize, oh, shit, I'm famous as fuck, but I'm broke. So what I'm going to do? You know what I mean? Because that fame is serious. Everywhere I go, nigga, I'm in England, I'm wherever. They know who I am. I can't hide. So if you ain't got no bread, you fucked. That's just straight up. Your life is fucked. This new school YouTube shit, this ain't like when you used to battle your man on the corner and only niggas in the hood knew. Niggas would know you yeah. to battle your man and fucking Harlem niggas that know who you is in Norway. You feel me? Yeah, exactly. Shit is real, nigga. So I had to make sure that shit was cool. I had to make sure my kids was cool. I got five kids. I can't I can't feed them YouTube. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even with that, niggas need to get that shit together with the publishing so the battle rappers can eat later off of, off of shit like that. Now, that should be done, you know, but that's going to take niggas not being so thirsty and, and back cutting each other and doing whatever to jump on stage, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that shit is zero to 60. A nigga could be nobody eating Frosted Flakes, and the next day a phone call could change his life. That's how that shit works. He'd be famous, just as famous as me, overnight. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> niggas is doing that shit. Like, niggas is doing whatever to get on that stage. Getting on that stage, not even prepared, but they, y'all thinking, man, why they ain't prepared? Because they ain't there for what y'all think they there for, evidently. If a nigga ain't prepared when he get on that fucking stage, for real, it's because he better have some other shit popping, or he just only went up there cause for the fame. Because niggas is telling him, go be famous. Yeah. Straight up. A lot of these niggas just want to be famous. They, they call fly by night. That's what my pop used to call them. Fly by night niggas. You know what I'm saying? They come overnight, mm-hmm. they want to be the man, but they don't want to deal with the bullshit you got to go through. Man, niggas will tell you what that fast mm-hmm. battle is. There's a lot of battle rappers at that fast battle, man. A lot of niggas don't like me because I pulled up in Porsches and shit back to back. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas don't like that type of shit because niggas is just still jumping on buses and just never seen shit like that because they never put they, they, they mind to the business. It's still a business. Fuck all that passionate poetry shit niggas is doing. What's up with this business? What's up with how you going to take care of yourself? Tissue costs money to wipe your ass. How you going to get some money? 
These niggas is broke, and they got broke mentalities, and they got crab in the barrel mentalities. If these niggas learn how to get money, they will give y'all better performances. They will give y'all better everything. Because when I didn't, when I didn't have shit, I was giving y'all a bunch of freestyles. I really didn't give a fuck because y'all wasn't <laughs> paid me enough to take me out of my situation or help fix shit. When you send me half, that means when I get there, I'm only getting half. Deal with, you know what I'm saying? Deal with what I brought you at that point. My whole life is fucked up. I'm not coming from a mansion. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit mm-hmm. is real. Lux is, Lux is getting the same looks as Meek Mills is getting right now. But the difference is Meek Mills getting 40000 every single night. You right? Yeah. So that's, you got to look at that for what it is, how it is dealing in society, being in that position. That's why I respect Lux, because he, he went out there, he sell his T-shirts. I've seen a nigga out there selling T-shirts. Niggas know where to find him, because he's out there selling them jobs, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, he really hustling for real. You know what I mean? And he's the illest battle rapper, period, but he's still out there selling T-shirts. So why ain't mm-hmm. another battle rapper doing that to get his money if he ain't got another hustle? Now, uh, yeah. you know, but uh, truth be told, too, like uh, you, like you did tweet out that, uh, you know, you had a good conversation with Norbs, and it looks like you are stepping back in the ring. So you do have love for the ring. Um, is that going to be like the Philly, is that the Philly invasion card, or can you get into uh, details on on the Norbs phone call? Norbs, uh, Norbs actually might call in soon. Um, he he was on his way to pick somebody up, but. Can, can you get into details of the conversation with Norbs and the tweet and everything? I hit Norbs up because everybody keeps telling me to battle smack, battle smack, battle smack, battle smack. All this for years, you know what I'm saying? I didn't battle smack because I felt like as a, as a young nigga, I dealt with so much bullshit with drama, 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 that I just wanted to do something different and battle against everybody in the whole world, not just in one section stuck in New York and people was telling me if I didn't do that, I didn't really count. And I didn't understand that because I didn't understand exactly how hip-hop works. It's something that you got to grow with. It's a culture, you know what I'm saying? And I had to learn to understand that, oh, shit, okay, you got to keep things this way for things to work that way. And now I'm like, yo, all right, I'm a battle smack. Whatever it takes, I'll battle that in the midst of me blowing this shit up and doing this music with these producers that I'm fucking with. So I talked to Norbs. I hit Norbs up. I was like, damn, you know, what y'all ain't fucking with me? He's like, yeah, man, we wasn't feeling with stuff you were saying in the past. You know, regular shit. I was like, all right, I'm on battle. He was like, all right, I'm going to try to set up some shit. And I ain't really talked to him since then. So I can't say, yeah, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. And he said, hit him up with some ideas. I hit him up. He's been busy since then. So, you know, like if it happened, it happened. If it doesn't. I still got to be about this bread, man. Y'all niggas got to feel me on that, man. Like, I'm on a whole other mission out here, bro. I have to, you know, I feel like battling is for the new nigga that has no name. I feel like the niggas that have been doing this for years is because they ain't figured out another hustle. That's why they just sitting there waiting for the next battle. Them niggas should be out the way, and it should be all new niggas. Every year, every two years, it should be all new niggas. If you come in, you stop, you do a battle here and there, yeah. But not when the shit is just cluttered with the same names over and over and over. And then a new nigga come in and it's just get, it's not even really room no more. You know what I'm saying? Like when it was Murder Mook and Rex and Lux and it still was room for Hollow and Swain and DNA and you know what I'm saying? Now the shit just starting to yeah. get kind of weird, you know, because there's so many. Uh, it's too many. That's one thing I say about Grind Time, man. Grind time fucked the game up as far as letting too many niggas in the game. Like, it just was way too many niggas battling. Like, now it's just a, it's oversaturated. Like, anybody can get on camera. If they if they can't get on URL, they'll get on somewhere. See, I, I like Grind Time. I was a Grind Time fan in 2008. Of course, of course, um, you know, Smack DVDs was always, like, held more highly than that, but, you know, Grind Time brought Battle Rap back. Um, I seen you in Halloween, which released, and, you know, like, what, like, while saying that, that I do like, I think their mistake was just releasing every and anything. You know what I'm saying? It could be Joe Schmo versus Joe Blow from Mother Rock. Grind Time will release it. And I felt like they should have held on to some battles. I mean, would you agree to that? And, 
I, you would say that Grand Town did help bring Battle Rap back, though, right? I feel like World Star brought Battle Rap back. When I'm older, yeah, when I'm older, with, yeah. now that I'm older, now that I'm older, I'm gonna deal with a business perspective rather than deal with you know what I'm saying. Just like when URL came back, they took over the top of World Star. It was like URL's back, Math versus Rex. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. World yeah, Star yeah. is that if your shit hit World Star, it don't matter. Just like UW, a couple of day battles hit World Star, then it popped. Once that's like once you start hitting them big sites, it, it get on a thousand other little sites. They do that a couple times in a row, it'll start rolling. Without that World Star platform, I know I wouldn't even. My first battle with Scott Free did 3.5 million on World Star. That's like what blew me the fuck up right before the Howell battle. Then the Howell battle did 1. something million on World Star. It was World Star that gets you famous. You feel me? Not as much now because now World Star is super cooning, like cooning O'Brien. But back in the day, like, it wasn't really, like, it wasn't cooling like that to that degree. So niggas really check World Star every day faithfully. So if your shit was on there, they'd probably catch it. You know, just like Summer Madness, all them battles was on World Star. Right. And at all the big sites, you know what I'm saying? So them Jones was able to catch fire. And they make all the big sites to catch fire. Without them big sites, it's nothing. I don't care who's trying to bring what back when they're trying to bring it back. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have your promo right. Uh, no, definitely, man. Um, yeah, go ahead, Seiko. No, I was just saying I agree with him. I agree with him. Like you, you definitely need uh, you need you need a perfect storm. You need a perfect storm, and um, having your shit circulate throughout websites is definitely the way to go nowadays in this internet era. Right, because uh, because grind time ain't over; it's dead. So. If something can just die like that, it never was really alive. If World Star started putting grind time battles on World Star again, and Vlad and all them was putting them up, then it should have be popping again. Like really yeah. simple as that. That's how this shit works. You know what I mean? Little B is popping. You know what I mean? Huh. See, I, I, you know, too. I, I know Psycho feels a certain way type about it too because uh, I, like, you don't know this one, but like Psycho was, he was down with the outsiders. He was, a, he was a rapper in Jersey. And he's seen M, like, he met M before M was M, you know. And, uh, you know, he saw M blow up and, and cycle. You know, cycle, like, how, do you feel that, do you feel a certain type of way about that? Like, seeing, like, niggas blow up too and you never really mm -hmm. got, like, that opportunity? No, I mean, that's just the game. That's just how the game is. I mean, it's, it's, it's way more people who didn't make it than actually made it. I mean, for every one person you tell me made it, I can name you a thousand that didn't. So, I mean, it's, it's like sports. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody ain't going to make the league or whatever. You know, some of it, it's, it, actually, it's not even so much about, but it's not even, as, that's not even actually a good analogy because in sports, it's not so much about the politics as it is with the music. Music is a lot of politics, too. It's not just skills. Like, motherfuckers ain't even got to be nice to get a record deal and be heard on the radio. Right. It's, like, it's not but, what you know, it's who you know. You can't be garbage and still expect to get drafted and everything. Like, it's just not going to happen. Like so, it, it, it's a little bit more politics and everything else. But no, I'm, I'm no, I'm not really. No, I was I was a little bit more disappointed that he didn't put the outs he didn't put more of a better put forward to put the outsiders on. That I was a little bit more surprised about that. But that's a whole another long story. Yeah, you got a uh, you got a question before we take some fan calls, Cycle. No, no, I'm good. Uh, uh, yo, Philly, we got we got um, fans on the line. You ready to take a couple calls with us? Yep. Let's go. All right, All right let's go. Uh, four one zero. You there? Yo. Yep. Uh, yo, y'all can believe him. I'm Gucci. I got the word in Philly. He sparked the toolie. He grabbed the M16. Let off the Uzi. Shit, don't call it. Yeah, I was watching that shit the other day. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But what's up, y'all? What up, what up? But, um, hey, on some real shit, you dropped me some, uh, knowledge, you know, on the show tonight. Like, I like everything you're talking about, you know, with the, you know, the the old battle rappers that need to, you know, find another hustle and shit like that. Like, you really dropping some knowledge on, on some, on some real shit. But, um, you said you wrote for, like, some of the biggest names in hip-hop. Can you run down, like, some of the, you know, people that you wrote for? 
Hell no. I'm not going to run down who I wrote for. <laughs> oh, you yeah, go, go I, 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 and shit. I, I, I thought you was, I, like, I, writing I, songs I, and shit. They say, they, say every Philly, they say every Philly nigga do that, man. I'm not I, I'm not going to do that. But just when you just read credits and shit, my shit will pop up here and there. I live in Hollywood. I be working. Oh, okay, cool. Check cool, me cool. out. Go on, go on Instagram and, like, keep up and all that. You know what I'm saying? I'll definitely be working. All right, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, you know, I, I was can't. just going... I definitely, yeah, can't, I definitely can't do that. That's that's definitely a no no number one. Oh, I but I, 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 but I will tell but I will tell you this. After ahead. the record you hear on the radio, the rapper didn't write them. Mm hmm. And not a word of it. it it's different than battle rap. Okay, okay. Uh, I so mean, that, hey, that's some okay. game right there. Do you, Do you feel like that takes away from the art form? Like rappers, not even I like mean, rappers that are famous. Hey, psycho, hey, that's real rap, right? Yeah, that's one hundred. That's one hundred. Uh, man, I don't, I don't know about that, man. Like, nigga, you think like niggas like Kendrick Lamar and shit like that, or, or you talking about I'm like niggas I'm, like I'm, Nick Miller? I'm, I'm not gonna speak on no names at all, but half the records that you hear on the radio from the from the beginning of hip hop, people didn't write them. Okay. Um, so why, oh, so why, and like Run DMC, like Run DMC, a lot of people don't know DMC wrote most of the lyrics. With Run DMC, like Run didn't even do a lot of the writing in the group. Um, I can name some other shit. Um, like it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a whole bunch of little scenarios like that, but that's more like that was more of like a group setting, and you had a lot of chicks that didn't do a lot of the writing. Like that, that's been notorious throughout the history of hip hop with females, like just having ghost writers all over the place. So yeah, oh yeah, it, it was yeah. a it was it was a lot of groups where that where they only had one like Ice Cube. Ice Cube did a lot of writing for NWA. Yeah, for NWA, so like, yeah, we know that. Yeah, a lot of groups had like one person who did a lot of the writing and shit like that back in the day. So yeah, did have that. I can feel. I mean, I kind of I, I don't know. I I believe Meek might write this shit. I mean, I believe everybody write this shit down here on the radio for real. I mean, niggas like the R and B niggas and the R and B bitches and shit like that. They don't write this shit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. They but, don't um, hey, yo, Philly, who would you like want to battle on Smack though? I mean, it really wouldn't matter. I never ever, not one time ever, said yo, let me battle him. Only reason why I proved the daylight battles because niggas in the hood was telling me, like, yo, y'all should battle, fuck with him. There's too many niggas that ain't really niggas holding it down for the West Coast, and they felt like that was their guy that they wanted to rep, and I ain't really was fucking with it all like that, so I felt like it could help them. But I ain't never been like, yo, let me battle a nigga. Like, I feel like that's the weirdest part. I feel like you got to be kind of different than a man to want to go scream at another man that you don't know at all. You got to have some type of jealousy in you to want to go battle a man. Nah, it's competition, though. It's competition. But it's, no, nah, it's different, dog. Listen, if I, that's, that's like you. If I say, yo, I want to battle you, it got to be because I think you nice or yeah. something, something that's making me envy you. Back in the day, it wasn't like that. It was like, yo, my man's better than you. I'm going to bring him around the corner and show you. Or either a nigga was getting a bigger buzz than you, and you was like, yo, I'm going to show you. And that showed you envy because the nigga was buzzing more than you. So I never be feeling like, Oh, that nigga, I, I never get that moment no more where it's like, damn, that nigga's better than me, to where I would want to go battle a nigga. Like, it's whatever at this point, and this shit is a business. It's not It's not like it was before where you could really go in and do what you sometimes. The mics don't even be right, and it's a lot more to this shit than it was before. You ain't need no mics before, you know what I'm saying? So it's just a, mm -hmm. it's a different culture than it was before, so... I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going to battle nobody. I'm just going to be prepared when it's time to battle them. Did you see my battle? Uh, yeah, you battled and Don't Flop, right? Yeah, did you fuck with that? Nah, yo, I didn't even see it. Like, I seen you in the I think I seen you in the background of uh, a Charlie Cliss battle or something like that. And that, that was the only battle I seen on Don't Flop. Like, you know, right. but who, who you battle on there? Um, I did some two-on-two -two shit with Diz and O'Shea and the boy Pedro. It's some cool, quick shit to, for me to jump back to make sure that, you know, I ain't looking rusty or dusty. Yeah, I, I seen that shit. It was, it was pretty good. I seen it. Yeah. Yo, I, oh, okay. you know, I, I like, I like O'Shea, man. I don't know why O'Shea gets criticized the way he, I was like, I can't understand half of what he says, but I, I like him. I think he's nice. Yo, Charlie Clips called him the uh, Loaded Lux of London. Yo, that shit was funny as shit. But, um, 
I thought earlier you said you couldn't go out of go out of uh, state and shit, man. Ain't that in well, London? I can go. I can go to London. I can't go to. They won't let you go in Canada if you got. Even if you got DUI, yeah, you can't go to Canada. Yeah, you can go to other shit. countries. You, you just certain countries you can't go to. You can go to like London and uh, France, shit like that, but you can't go into Canada. I mean, I, I don't. I, I guess it's the way you probably can sneak in, but even if you got DUI, they send you back. So, and then yeah. even in London, even in London, they sent the source and daylight back last time. So it ain't that sweet, you know what I'm saying? It's just that yeah. I had I had bank cards and shit, so they let me in because they knew I could house myself. But if you yeah. ain't got all your shit right when you get to that border, they'll fuck with you. So True. it don't matter really where you go, or even without a record, they'll send you back. But you cannot go to Canada with a record. Oh, all right. Hey, uh, last question. Are there any new, like, battle rappers that you, you, you've you been watching and shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you like they style or something? You like the um, battle and shit? Well, Clip's been, Clip's been the homie since, like, the beginning. Like, I came to the scene, you know, I used to be like a... With all the homies and shit, he'd be the only nigga, like, really come over and fuck with us and shit. Like, but other than that, I don't, I don't really be battle rap. Change like a motherfucker. I fuck with, uh, with Beat Magic. I think he dope. Um, mm -hmm. I, I feel like, I don't know why I'm so, you need to let me know as a fan. Maybe I'm retarded, but I feel like Clips is running shit right now besides Lux. That's how I look at it, but I guess people... He like, just had a hot battle with Sue Surf, so it make it, you know what I'm saying? But before that, he, I mean, nah, it, he was just a little, I don't know, like, he had a hot battle, like, he had a hot battle with Surf and shit. So, I mean, like, say he take a battle, like, that's how battle rap work. He had a hot battle in December and shit, but say he take a battle in February and shit, he have a bad battle, then, you know, I don't know, he really ain't he irrelevant again and shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But you only as good yeah. as you only as good as your last exactly. battle one battle, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> but his last his last battle was dope, so that means it's totally just hating on him. <laughs> you yeah. can't say yeah. his last yeah. battle was dope, but just say it's the only good as his last battle. That nigga, I feel like he did his thing, you know. Sue Surf, I feel like that Hollow battle. I feel like Sue Surf did his thing. Then once Clips battled him, I felt like maybe Sue Surf ain't doing his thing, and that usually don't happen to me. You feel me? So, yeah. I mean, I made don't you know. Look at surf different? Did that Chris battle make you look at Surf different? <laughs> no, 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 not not look at Surf different, but, I mean, it just made me look at his battle against Hollow, because against Hollow, I was like, damn, Surf did his thing. But then when Clips was battling him and was breaking shit down, I was like, it made me feel like I was sleeping, you know what I'm saying? Like, whoa, yeah. I thought that was hot. Man, I guess it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I mean that that was that was kind of decent. I kind of liked the, that angle. That was dope. I still watch this shit when I can. Like I fuck with it. You know, and, and most of the industry do. Like you know the nigga Ty Dolla Sign that sing Paranoid. Yeah, that song hard. Yeah, that's yeah. the nigga that uh, I was in a session with him, and he the nigga that told me that Tall T died. He's like, man, you know the nigga Tall T died. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was like, yeah man, niggas be crazy. on this battle rap shit. Niggas, niggas be, be watching that yeah. battle rap shit for real. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's for real, like everybody. All people watching, they want to admit, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, because you can't, it's hard, it's hard to get that shit, the same, it's, it's hard to get that same feeling on beat. See, a person can battle, and from the door, you be like, ooh, that's the man. But unless it's an old clue tape back in the day, you ain't going for no one verse. It's going to take a long time yeah. for you to mess with that artist, you know what I'm saying? He was like, okay, yeah. and like six Jones, I fool with him. But you ain't going for three verses. Like you do that in battle, and you'll be like, whoa, that battle was crazy. I mess with him. It ain't gonna be like that off of really one song unless you keep hearing it and it ain't annoying you. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm So it's different. A lot of that stuff, like we don't watch them battles as much as we think. We may watch different battles, but how many times do we watch the same battle? This is true. That's where the this money is, is at. I'm sorry, I don't I'm, mean I'm, like, you know. I mean, boy, battles that had that replay value is what counts. It doesn't have that replay value. Can you watch this battle three, four times and not get bored with it? Right. I mean, sorry sorry to the world that my angle ain't let me kill everybody in the world. My angle is just let me get a platform to right. show Philly Swain to the world. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm never thought. Though, you also got...
on that note, though, you also got to agree that um, a million views in battle rap is worth a whole lot more than a million views in music because it, uh, it's easy to get a, it's easy to get a mu uh, million views in music because most of the time when you hear a song, you like a song, you're going to hear that shit multiple times. It's hard to get yeah, a person right. to listen to battle rap multiple times. You feel me? Like most of the time, no, in no, the you, you, no, you 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 phrase that wrong. OG, let me explain it to you different. A million views in battle rap is is on a higher is on a higher equivalent to maybe ten millions in music. But as far as a million views in battle rap being more, heck no. Because if you get a million views in music, somebody gonna come grab you and try to turn that to ten and try to turn that into some millions. Well, that's yeah, the well, yeah, like, yeah, 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 exactly. I'm, I'm just saying, like. Like that, that's the long term. That's the long term shit. Yeah, long term you're going to benefit more getting a million views in a song. But I mean, like it's harder <laughs> to get a million views in a battle than battle rap than it actually is a song because most songs people listen to more than one more than one time unless they just don't like the song and it, and they don't like the song. It's not going to hit a million anyway. <laughs> you're exactly right. That's, that's, so that's, that's you know, how like. It because, you know, like, these, these these battles be like a half hour, 40 minutes, some of them an hour. You know what I'm saying? And these, these things hit millions of, uh, millions of views. So it's like it's touching more people. You know what I'm saying? Like, not as, not as many. If a, if a million views is on the song, not as many people is actually probably listening to that song as they was that million, as many people um, actually watched that battle. Right. Right. Uh, all right, let's try another Let's try another call. Thanks for the call. Um, Jeff, you still there? Or did we lose you? Yeah. I'm here. Uh, Enjoying the conversation. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> 816, you there? Yo, what up, what up? What up, what up? What's cool? P. Hilly Flame, what's up? What's up, man? Chillin', man. I, you know, I really ain't got much to say. Dude, I'm just listening, you know, but talking that real talk, though, like, you got that real nigga feel, man, like, you, a big K, a Sway Sever, you know, y'all get on here and talk like that, that real life talk, man, you know what I'm saying, like, I just appreciate it, my nigga, I got a note Thanks. and shit, taking notes and shit. Thanks, bro, <laughs> for real, man. For and, real uh, yeah, man, I just, uh, and, and I'm glad you addressed that situation with Daylight, because ever since I saw that battle, and it's just like, you know, I don't know you personally, but I just remember seeing your other battles, you just kind of come off as a real type of dude, and, and it seemed like the way Daylight, like, when you was like, keep a rap, you know, Daylight was like, okay, okay, cool, and then they could just run up on it, I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying, like, but now that you just shed light on it, it makes a lot more sense, you know, what happened. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Like, I'm going to tell you about Daylight, man. He's a really cool dude, man. Like, he ain't, you know, so certain people go, it's like when you play, if you play basketball with Dennis Rodman, you feel me? That's how I look at it with this light, you know what I'm saying? Like, I play ball, I play ball for people who culture, I got sponsors by them. If a nigga get on the court and he on that, I got a choice. You know, I'm going to see the trail speak well. I'm um, gonna get around it. You know what I'm saying? Like I never looked at it like as, like people magnified it. I, it's not no street stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's a sport. It's different. You gotta respect the culture. Like I could have just grew and and try to match that and been extra. Like oh man, I should hit buddy. And that's just like childish thoughts, man. Like once once everything get messed up, then it's it's a math serious Jones situation. I understand math situation because that day like shit. He probably felt like, oh, man, I, the nigga just poured water on my feet. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Like, nigga, I got paid. We left. The nigga ain't hook off on me or no real street shit. So it wasn't no street shit. It was just some some theatrics. Like, if a nigga pour some water on you and on the basketball court on your shoes, like, nigga, you probably shove a little bit. The ref get in the middle. It's fuck it. But when niggas yeah. really start shooting at him, oh, you a bitch. Oh, you let daylight mark you out and whoopty whoopty whoop and you know, then they like just playing with that shit, you know what I'm saying? And fuel to yeah. fire. And then math like niggas don't understand his his disposition at that point. Like the nigga get on stage with girls and this 
Nigga, we don't come from that shit. That shit is some new school shit, bro. Like, it's bad enough I got to come battle, nigga, I don't even know. Then you bringing bitches, then the last time a nigga was doing this, and now you just screamed out, and it's, 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 it can become a lot a lot of pressure. You know what I'm saying? Take a lot to keep you cool. You know, somebody else in my position, anybody else in my position probably would have did a, a bunch of BS, but you got to be real, man. Like, once somebody dies, someone goes to jail, especially when you on camera. A lot of people ain't had to make that decision before. You know what I'm saying? If you go, if you got beef and you looking for somebody, about the first three times you look for him, he might be in a in a spot that you call the the motherfucking clear zone where you can't hit him at. You feel me? Nigga could have killed one of your cousins. You can't hit him on downtown broad daylight. You ain't Frank Lucas. You know what I'm saying? People be yeah. really turning into like an incredible hawk because you battle. Like, no, nah, it ain't finna happen. That's like when Wayne ain't get out the truck in Cali. I wasn't expecting him to be like, I'm Lil Wayne, where 40 Glock at? He would have died. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know what people mm. be expecting, a super thug. Or, but as long as ain't nobody putting their hands on me or none of that, then you can be all extra or whatever. I told the nigga cool out because he was making the shit hot. You feel me? Like, damn, nigga, you making this shit hot. But, nigga, I battled PH and a bunch of other niggas, and, you know, I don't give a fuck how a nigga feels, especially when I get paid, but... That shit was just a little while extra, and I just had to let the nigga know. But that's my homie, ain't? I wasn't trying to sun him, or I think people felt like I was trying to sun him, and then I, he didn't get sun. But it wasn't like that. It was more like, yo, stop playing. Even my girl did it. I'd like tell my girl, yo, stop playing. And she'd be like, what you mean, stop playing? And what I'm supposed to do? Smack her on the ground like I'm Philly Swain. I told you, stop playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, that shit ain't. That shit ain't cool, man. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to park your whip and cool down and be like, man, all right, man, it's just, all right, dog, you got it, man. You you the toughest nigga at the battle. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like yeah. the nigga did, he took something out my hand or something and was like, I ain't giving it back. Then that's, I'm, a, I'm pussy for that. I'm one million percent pussy for that. But if a nigga's battling mm -hmm. and he getting hyped and, you know, Reed used to rap and put his head all near people's ears and all that shit. I, I was just telling him, yo, bro, look, man, and pictures came out with his nose touching my face. I was just telling him, bro, look, man, what are you trying to, man, this is kind of gay. You know, I even said it when I was freestyling, you know, that shit kind of gay, bro, you know, like I ain't really into that. So I was just trying to put it out there for a million other reasons, not to be tough. It's just, bro, calm down. You hype as shit right now, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't a natural reflex. It's like, yo, I'm strapped in this bitch, and you you are wilding on me. What is this? If I knew we had drama, I would have left the strap outside with my young boy and said, yo, stand outside at the door. Whatever happened, rip ass. But we, I came in for a battle, so I ain't thinking no shit like that. I'm thinking, oh, I'm about to battle the boy for Watts, man. Them niggas, I'm about to show them niggas for Watts. I don't even got right shit for this nigga. Then it turned into some yeah. other shit. What I'm supposed to do? Yeah. Like, Besides be a grown-ass man and say, man, chalk this one, dog. This ain't going the way you planned it. <laughs> you feel me? It just ain't going <laughs> the way I planned it, my nigga. It wasn't where I'm from. If it was in Philly, it would have been different, but it was in L.A., bro. Nothing I could do about it at all. It, my confidence was gone because I was more thinking, yo, I got this ratty on me. After the battle was over, he was like, yeah, Swain. I was like. My nigga, I told him right there, like, my nigga, chill out, man. What did you? He's like, man, yo, man, you know, I just ain't want niggas to think that you was trying to poke me. I'm like, nigga, I know I ain't trying to poke you, but I, I get where he's coming from, too. He felt like his career, this is his life, too, you know what I'm saying? Like, he got to do what he had to do as a man. As long as he ain't put his hands on me, he ain't disrespect me, that's still going to be my nigga, no matter how a fan view it, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with that mm -hmm. nigga. If I go to Jordan Downs, that nigga going to co-sign me. Nigga, that's the, one of the hardest lives in the world. So, nigga, I ain't, I ain't got no drama with the nigga at all. I ain't feel like the nigga did no disrespectful shit. I just felt like the nigga was playing too fucking much. Like, even with them niggas, I feel like he be playing with them niggas, but they let him go too far sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, if some niggas in jail, some niggas will set I, your I feet. Mean, I, don't know, I don't know if Lil Pesci was playing around. That, no, but, like but I feel that. like this. But I feel like this. In jail, some niggas will set your feet on fire if you pussy. They will, but they'll be playing. They don't mean to set you on fire. They just like, oh man, this nigga pussy. Let's set his feet on fire so he can run up and down the tear with his shit on fire. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. <laughs> sometimes niggas play with you on a disrespectful tip. 
I don't feel like yeah. he played with me disrespectful. You know, I feel like he played with Lil Pesci disrespectful. But I don't feel like he played with me disrespectful. I just feel like, you know, and out of respect to him being my man, he probably didn't go there and turn it into a big-ass rumble. Because the nigga is down to do that. It ain't like he a pussy-ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. out of him being my man, nigga should have known from him. He could have did that the whole John, you know what I'm saying? See, he could have kept going to and I remember when the whole day, like, um, Pesci thing happened. I remember me me explaining, trying to explain Jesse, like, I think that was a bit of a cultural clash right there if I just saw one because, like, um, it, it's just not cool to be doing that shit in the hood. Like, <laughs> be rubbing nut juice on anybody in the hood is, like, complete disrespect, disrespect. Like, motherfuckers get shot over shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it just, it shit is just real. But, you know, you, you go in the bird, you go in the bird, they might joke around like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they might not see a big deal with that. They might joke around like that and anything else. It's a cultural clash. It's a cultural difference. Like, they look at it completely different than where they the like other people from, look at it. They like it's from, they like it's from Joe and Down's project. He knew exactly what he was doing when he did it. Did well, he plan I, I on doing it before was, he came? Did he plan well, it before he came? Well, he did too. I'm going to my that. balls on this. I don't think he was like, yo, when he, I'm going to rub my balls on this nigga when I seen him. I just think the nigga Lil Pesci was being real, like, if you watch the battle, he was being real, like, yee, 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 you know what I'm saying? And the nigga was like, man, get the fuck out of here, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm a, and he jumped in the moment, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And nigga, if a yeah. nigga soft like that, shit like that going to happen, I, I, if niggas in your crew and my crew that are doing nigga like that, and you'll be like, nigga, you rub your balls on him, nigga, like, that's all I can think, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga, yeah, I right, will. Right? Right? There's, there's one antic, there's one antic that. that you have to disagree with, right? There's one antic uh, you have to disagree with, with what they like then. When you strip naked on them. Honestly, I've never ever watched that battle. Period. It's so spot on, right? <laughs> I, of course, that is say about say that about say that in a dialect battle. I feel like honestly, that I don't. I feel like all that shit is crazy, man. That's that niggas wave. Ain't they about to do that that reality show on uh, on TV? Like him and a bunch of other niggas, a bunch of battle rappers. I don't know. Is they like Yeah, I'm about to say I don't know. I believe like he I don't know. I believe, I don't know I believe he's involved in it, man. I believe he's he be. involved with it, man. He, he could be. He, he, the, the, the reality TV is, is, is perfect for him. Is he yeah, no, you know, I I thought, I, 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 when it would have surprised me, me if he was when a, when, a, when, a, when the nigga told me, man, when me and the nigga was talking, the nigga was like, nigga, I had a whole nother angle. You can't be, it ain't like the nigga trying to, the nigga let you know, nigga, I'm, that's what he going for, nigga. You can go look on World Star, you still see that nigga riff raff. Nigga, that shit works for some niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Some niggas You're ain't right. different, you feel me? Like, meanwhile, <laughs> your favorite rapper can't even make a motherfucking appearance nowhere because don't nobody want to hear him. These other niggas, it's a new wave, it's a new day. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, like I feel like Outkast said it best, old school turn us to new school fools, man. For real, like yeah. the old school and the new school, two totally different things. If you try to figure it out, your head will bust. Like, yeah. for real. Yeah, you just try to adjust with the times, and it's, it's crazy that times it, 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 it just fucks me up who's actually, who actually dictates it. It's like, it's it, it just crazy. It's just, it's, oh, God, don't even get me started. That's all. <laughs> That's yeah, old, you know, Psycho has an old way. school mentality. He can't stand shit like you, yo, Psycho, you can't stand Riff Raff, right? You can't stand the fact that he's making money off of rap. Yo, yo, let me explain. And this was so crazy. Riff Raff is my homie. Like, he lives in Hollywood, <laughs> too. That's my man. I can't front. I done ran into him so many parties. Me and him to have freestyle sessions where everybody in the party stopped when I rap. And then when he rapped that crazy shit, they all go crazy. And I be like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so annoying he said nothing like straight Malibu most wanted swag in the middle of Malibu type shit. But it works for him. That that goes back to that Eminem 10 million, 450 million people that don't give a fuck about Eminem. Some of them people right. care about their You know what I'm saying? Like, so mm-hmm. that's why you got to be yourself. They like just being who he is, and it's going to work for him because it's who he is. And there's so many people out there that's just like him. There's people out there that see him put that shit on and be like, oh, man, I wonder if he's a cross-dresser. That's a whole nother lane of money when you start getting into that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just different. He's going to have supporters. Like, I, 
I can't never do no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That ain't my <laughs> lane. <laughs> More power to <laughs> For real. Yeah. I mean, but he's, from Los, he's from Los Angeles. The lifestyle out there is 85% Mexican. You know what I'm saying? It's not like us yeah. from the hood of the East Coast on some North Jersey, Brick City, Rainbow Gang shit. Like, it's not. Yeah. Niggas ain't on no shit like that. Niggas ain't on no Zoo Crew shit. Niggas is on some straight came from when Jury Curls, Michael Jackson came out with a Jury Curl, all the gangsters got a Jury Curl. Like, niggas, it's yeah. a different life. Uh, nigga, you go into their high school, it's big pictures of Tookie Williams because he's one of the biggest athletes for that weightlifting ever. So niggas see that and they grow up idolizing a gangbanger when a gangbang is different. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole, yeah. total lifestyle when you're dealing with that shit. If it was Rich Porter in the middle of Harlem hallway posted on the wall, everybody would be selling dope. You know what I'm saying? True, like, true. Now, this way, niggas, my frames is not where ours is, where it's to get money handle yourself and carry yourself a certain way. It's a, it's a L.A. where anything can happen mentality. It's a Hollywood mentality. It's Holly weird yeah. type shit. You know, he's been working at Lion Gate for years. So the nigga has experience with how to do crazy shit. Yeah. Now, yo, is that true, too? Because, I, like, I've grown to know, like, I don't know when to take that life serious or not. Does they, like, really work for Lion Gate? Yes, daylight is really a functional highly intelligent person with a job that just battles on the side and does all these theatrical shit for y'all. But that is not, he is not finna go out on the street and risk his freedom and be away from his son and all that shit. Like, he just right. doing what he got to do for battle rap. Like, and honestly, battle rap needs a day, like, to keep everybody on their toes. You know what I'm saying? But, mm -hmm. like, he is. He, he, yeah, he worked at Lionsgate for real. Like, I was trying to get the movie to go up there through him, but the antics and shit, he fucked up the whole, you know what I mean, the whole look, and we never was able to put out the movie. The, the trailer, The Last Battle, was on is on um, YouTube and shit. Like, nigga What's signed it called? The, the Last everything. Battle? Yeah, the nigga signed the papers, everything. The movie was going to come out, but then just the theatrics, are just that's not a good battle. Like, they wanted to see a really good battle, not a some damn near black-on-black -black crime looking shit. So they was like, man, I ain't fucking with this shit. Like, this shit just look bad, dope. He all tatted up. He all look like y'all, somebody about to die afterwards. Like, you know what I mean? It just was, wasn't was a good look. So it ain't never get to drop. You know, I owned half of the movie. That would have been a big payday for all of us. But, you know, shit just went wrong. Yeah. That wasn't my day. That had nothing to do with daylight. That just wasn't my day from when I woke up that morning. You know what I'm saying? That's why I feel where math was coming from. It wasn't his day. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I've had those days before. I've had those days before. Right, the, days before. right <laughs> the fact that last time he got up there, a nigga tried to play him. Oh, a nigga's going to try to play me again. And this the only time in life niggas try to play him is when battle rap is involved. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if it's real life, niggas ain't just trying to play no 6'2 Brooklyn nigga. Like, that ain't finna happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, unless mm -hmm. you got real street street beef with the nigga and he y'all got real drama in the streets. You ain't finna just go say, yo, pick that nigga over there. Just go bring drama at that nigga. And it don't work that way. It's just this battle rap shit, man. It just, it shit get carried yeah. away. And now that nigga in a position where he can't even do one of the things he loves because it's not really a career, you know what I'm saying? He he should just sit down and focus and put time into getting the right record because you only need one record, you know what I'm saying? And just keep the sure. relationships got going, and really that might be a sign for him to work that lane because he make good music, he a good dude. I fuck with him, you know what I mean, on a personal tip. He a hundred. That's how I know Norbs. I know Norbs through, you know, situations happening through math and another rapper and some crazy shit. And me telling Norbs, yo, you don't need to be looking bad, you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't need the nigga out yeah. there wilding like that. So I know math is about that action. Trust me. 100 million percent. I know his fans out there right now that probably want to say, all oh, math got marked out and all. All right, whatever. That's battle rap. When you're talking about the streets, that nigga's a G for what I know. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know yeah. nothing but him being a G. You know what I'm saying? So that's where the shit get misconstrued. That's why a nigga like Sirius Jones get punched. You know what I'm saying? And Sirius Jones mm -hmm. is a real dude. So it's not even like Sirius Jones is no bitch. Do you, think, do you think Sirius actually caught some of the backlash off the reactions to that Mav Daylight battle? Like, because Mav caught a little he bit of heat after that battle. 
as far as like a lot of people would say the map didn't like why didn't you do nothing to daylight? Why you let daylight do this? Why you let daylight do that? And it just so happens he, he ended up battling serious like about a month or some change later, maybe two. And yeah, and then do you think he caught like the backlash of that? Like map like, well, I ain't gonna you know, I ain't gonna let no stupid shit happen to me again. And he probably you know, stepped out of pocket because of that. I feel like it was some straight Shaq Eric Montrell shit. Like, remember he played Rodman, and Rodman swung the ball around the whole game and was grabbing uh-huh. him all types of gay-ass ways. And then the next game, he came back and socked on Eric Montrell. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how yeah, that shit be. just be like, man, I'm not going for this shit again tonight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like that's what it came from. Like, it, it had nothing to do with Sirius Jones. Cause Sirius Jones ain't no bitch. He didn't do nothing that he shouldn't have did. You know what I'm saying? And even on his on his rebuttal to the shit. Of course, there's nothing. You can't rebuttal that, Sirius Jones. The nigga just socked you that you didn't expect. And now, if you if you walking through the hood and the nigga sock you, okay, that's different, nigga. You should have been on your toes. But you got socked on stage. Like, who gets socked on stage ever in life? You know what I'm saying? How many times do you actually be on a stage, let alone it be where drama is? On a stage? Mm-hmm. In all places right. in the world that some drama would happen on a stage? Like, yeah, uh, that's somebody the last crowd thing. through something, that's different. But somebody on a stage, that's crazy. Yeah. That never even happened in hip-hop where Run DMC, yeah. Run, Run yeah. Pop, DMC. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, and pretty much on stage with somebody he's actually making money with because he was making money together on stage. That's like, what I'm saying. You know, <laughs> what the fuck? That's what a lot of people don't understand. When these people are in the ring with each other, facing off, battling each other, they're actually business partners at the same time, like, because they're making money together. So you, he didn't just fuck up his money. He fucked up serious money. He fucked up, you know, he fucked up everybody's money. Like, it was just a bad business move. Right. I don't know, man. That's why I'm telling y'all. See, now y'all see in descriptive detail why a person like me with two aggravated assault felonies does not need to be playing around in battle rap, and I always lean towards the music because it's easy for me to be in a session with an Avery Levine where they just like, yeah, man, and, it's, you know, just smoke trees, and, you know, they, they don't know nothing about bad shit happening at the time. Bad shit happening to them is people ODing, not, oh, a nigga might sock you in a session. Like, what the fuck? So somebody might come yeah. in here while I'm high as shit and punch me in my face. So I don't even need to get comfortable, you know what I'm saying? It's just exactly. it's terrible like, with that battle shit at this point. That actually, it, it puts everybody in a different mentality. It puts everybody in a different, completely different mentality. Because I know when I go to these events, I try not to be in that type of mentality. But, you know, but like, like you know, you, you just spoke on it before, that jail mentality. Like when you're in the streets and, you know, you got that jail mentality, like, okay, like, you know, you on your guard. You on point, you watching, you looking around, you making sure, you know what I mean? You making sure you checking everything. And, like, you don't want to have to be thinking that when you at these events. You don't want to have to have that same type of mind state that you have when you probably going to cop weed or, <laughs> you know what I mean, making right. whatever, whatever the case. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be thinking that type of shit. But, right, yeah. that's like, damn, like, I should have brought, I should have wore dickies to this shit. Like, <laughs> real shit, nigga. Like, I, I ain't finna dress up and get my hair cut for some grimy shit. Like, if we showcase some talent. That's like if we doing the talent show, and because I get number one, you can just come up and punch me in my face. Now we got beef. It's, like, I'm down for that, but it's like, for real? All right, well, yeah. I'm not finna do this when I'm a target at this point. At this point, I'm a target. Like, everybody want to be the toughest nigga in the world. Eventually, I'm going to end up killing one of you niggas. I hope it's battle rappers listening. I will shoot and kill one of you niggas. That's why I, I worry about me. I don't worry about y'all. I worry about myself and my stupid-ass actions and where they have put me before. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to be in that position in no battle rap. Y'all can have that totally. If y'all ready to grab and push a nigga and all that to show that y'all some type of tough, Y'all don't know what tough is. Tough is when you get put in that cell, nigga, and everybody on the tier is tough. And y'all all trying yeah. to figure out how to cover up the fact that y'all tough. Now y'all don't want to be tough. Y'all want to go in court and prove to the judge that y'all not really that tough. Yeah. Listen, exactly. hell before they go to court. Mm. Yeah, but you in there with the orange you on. You getting a haircut to try to show the judge you clean? You in jail. He got your whole shit in front of you, like. Yeah, you, know <laughs> you ain't lying about that. That's just, that ain't going to do too much. Stay, 
break, shave their beard off, and then go to trial. So hey, I'm not here to try some tough ass nigga like y'all can have y'all can literally if y'all down to come on stage and shoot somebody because y'all still willing to do time in jail for your battle rap name that shit ain't no joke like niggas like bricks from philly doing time for shooting a nigga in broad daylight niggas like motherfucking uh spitters dead you know what i'm saying like niggas in philly the niggas faces came home just did like 17 years or some shit nigga i'm not trying to go that ain't my style i'm not not for no battle rap. That shit crazy. Yeah. I'm telling you, if niggas don't figure out how to filter this shit, somebody's going to die. I'm telling you. Somebody's going uh, to die. I hope get to that. And, and, you know, I hope it don't get to that, but I, I'm, I, I'm, I have to agree with you. If shit don't change soon, I'm, I'm scared something like that might happen. And I don't want to see it happen because I don't want to see this whole culture get fucked up over right. motherfuckers trying to keep they, like you said, keep their battle rap name or their street cred or whatever the case may be. Like, it ain't even that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep the street on that, the street. It is that serious. It is that serious, but this ain't the platform for it. If you want to be Tony yeah, Montana, you got to tell Coke. You know, Tony street. Montana wasn't a battle rapper. You know what I'm saying? He was so cold. Yeah, like, now, whatever you do on the street, come preach that on stage if you do that in the street. But leave that in the street. That shit is getting out of hand, man. Niggas bringing that shit to the battle rap stage just so these gangster niggas can, can become famous. Now, everybody mm-hmm. getting famous like, oh, I ain't into that. I used to have to tell my now niggas, you- yo, I ain't bringing y'all. If they all wear something, jump off, I'm hooking a nigga. You ain't going to be able to stop me. Okay, well, then you stay at home. You know what I'm saying? Niggas yeah, like, oh, yeah, we need to bring him. He's going to stand right behind me. Nah, that shit ain't cool because when somebody go to jail... Then what? That's like, all right, Sue yeah. Surf got locked up for that gun. What if that gun would have got used on somebody because some shit jumped off? Mm-hmm. Like, niggas don't be yep. thinking about, like, how bad shit really can get. Like, and I'm cool. Like, it's different. Like, if, if something happened at a venue, you ain't going to be able to make no more money. I'm, I'm, what exactly. if I can't make no money in this? What the fuck am I going to do? I don't need me being affiliated with no type of drama. So I don't need niggas picking me out to start random fake ass. I want to be famous beefs. Because then when the shit go click blow, then I'm going to be in jail. And you, the nobody ass nigga, is just going to be dead. And then it's, it's all a waste. And then Battle Rap yep. is even 10 years behind yeah, again. Like, and you got some stupid motherfuckers out here who think that's the way to go. Well, I, well, fuck it, I ain't that nice. This dude is probably, this dude is killing me right now. It's round three. I'm getting killed. I ain't that nice. I want to get some views. Okay, fuck it, I'm just going to hit this motherfucker and make world star. Like, you got, you got stupid motherfuckers out there who think like that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, like, this shit just got to get straightened up. This shit got to yeah, get straightened up. I, it's not enough money, man. Hip-hop was making money. So, yeah, it had casualties, but that's the casualties of the money from the 80s, the coke money being flipped and niggas paying for shows and, you know, being a lot of ignorance in hip-hop when it was becoming the money maker that it became. But battle yeah. rap is not making enough money for niggas to be risking their freedom, like smack on, get them a lawyer like a Cochran or something, like on Snoop Dogg's bodyguard caught a murder. If your man catch a murder, all they know is you, you're going to jail. That's how the shit works. They sort it out later. They don't go, oh, it wasn't him. It was some nigga that was with him. They lock you up till you tell the nigga that was with you. And if you don't, then you do the time. That's how it works. Yeah. Niggas yeah, don't try, know that. Try, they locked up. I, I, man, I've been locked up so many motherfucking times, bro. Like, it's just, it's just I, I can't see myself being locked up over some battle rap. That's when I literally am just a waste of life. I'm getting locked up for battle rap. Like, nigga, that shit is just exactly. Yeah, that's that's stupid. You know, I wouldn't even want to go. I wouldn't even want to go in the chair and tell motherfuckers no stupid shit like that. Like, <laughs> right? It's more stupid. contact. It's more contact happening in the YMCA when niggas play five on five. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. why <laughs> niggas go to the Y in the school? But when you get on the stage, you got to be this man. You you not that. None of us are that, or we will be in jail doing life forever. None of us are that super killer dude. If any of us been involved in that, we wish we never been involved in that, in any aspect of it, because yes, it's your you life and it's a whole other world that you don't want to be involved in. You know what I'm saying? And you, damn sure wouldn't be, and you damn sure wouldn't be on stage talking about what the fuck you did either. <laughs> if you actually did this shit, you, actually would, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be sitting up there um, incriminating yourself on fucking stage. <laughs> right. The shit is not real like that. The shit is who can put together the best words, but niggas want the fans. Come on, man. Wrestling is not real, man. 
Pray for her. Uh, 718, you there? Yeah, what's up, yeah. What's good, son? Uh, I feel he's swaying. I was, at first I didn't really know who it was, and then what, I heard you go into the daylight situation and stuff. So, uh, well, that was cool. I mean, that's that's pretty much the elephant in the room, you know what I'm saying, like, what, what happened. I, and you you preaching, man. You're saying a lot of, you know, saying a lot of stuff that, as the fans, we feel like, you know what I'm saying, that, that I guess everybody really needs to hear. Um, I don't really, I ain't really hear you address the hollow situation. <laughs> Not even like it was a situation, but, um, well, run me through that hollow battle real quick, because do you feel like you won that? Or, I mean, you know, niggas, oh, I won everything, you know, that. or some niggas, they actually feel like they took a loss. But do you feel like you won that battle? Um, the hollow, my hollow battle is the, is, is the most personal battle to me because the Bull Jays juice, because I, I talked to PH about it, and PH said he ain't the one that did it. So it wasn't, I'm not going to say PH did it. Jays juice put the battle together. And I I was on some don't tell niggas who I'm battling because I had just went through something with Lada Zay in Fight Club where the nigga was saying some shit about the whole Hustle Diary shit and the niggas that was with me wasn't feeling it because Ace was still on trial, you feel me? So that whole while Ace was on trial, niggas was just on a bullshit. So I wasn't asking who I battled till I got there. Like I didn't know who, who I was battling until I got there against Scott Free. I didn't know who I was battling until I got there against Hollow. Two days before Cortez called me and said, You battled my man Hollow this weekend and I was like, For real? How he know? He's like, Man, he knew for weeks. So it was like fucked up. Like I felt like damn that was uh, fucked up. That I ain't yeah. get no time to prepare for that shit. But I don't never bitch because 'cause I'm not that type of nigga like, you know, I never brought that shit up the whole time. But Cortez will tell you that's one thousand percent facts. You know what I'm saying? PH is telling you if he's keeping it real. That's 1,000% facts. Even Kayshawn, we didn't know we was battling to the day we got there because Lux was a real nigga about it. He didn't he didn't do it on some corny shit. You know what I'm saying? When I got there, me and Kayshawn just battled dead on. We battled for like eight rounds, nine rounds. Yeah. Yeah, well, y'all from that area, you know what I'm saying? That, that old area, you know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't, well, like you said, niggas ain't, you know what I mean, really go for nobody. It was just one man better than you. What? We around the corner, man. And then y'all meet up in battle. And that's, that's really how it started out. Um, what do you think the Philly battle rap scene look like now? With, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you mentioned a little bit the niggas going to the music. And, I mean, some niggas getting a little too tough. So they image and, and, and getting kind of caught up with that, but what do you what do you think the Philly scene look like? I feel like a lot of a lot of niggas in Philly, they don't got my mentality. Like I got a I got a folk selling mentality. Like I got to go into your town. I got to deal with you whether you got an attitude or not. A lot of Philly niggas' attitude be like, "Fuck you, we don't need you." Me, my attitude never been that. I dealt with all the New York fuck shit so I could do my thing. A lot of niggas ain't gonna deal with it, so I don't even know if they can get to that level, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, Ness wasn't feeling that shit, and you know, he just had, he started snapping, you know what I'm saying? That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, that was like, crazy. He started snapping like, he a, he a real nigga, he, he wasn't feeling that shit. Like, I, I I don't know, but in Philly, it wouldn't have went down like that. So it's different, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Philly and New York is so similar to New York. is so much bigger than Philly, so it, it counts so much more that it's hard for y'all to ever see it. And if you lived in Philly, or came down to Philly and watched battles, niggas, the scene is different. It's not the same. You know what I mean? Like, niggas ain't really going to listen to a New York battle or all like that in Philly. It's going to, like, kind of kill the crowd with that taking too long shit. Philly is a faster place, faster talk. Everything is a little quicker. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm definitely hip to it. Yeah, I'm definitely hip to it. Like I said, I, mean, I, I came up with that. Era. Like, I went to... um school out in Redding, so it ain't too far. Lionel's Battles, you know how to touch money, they had that name ringing, so when Lionel's Battles was going down, I was, I was in there trying to look it out. And then I had that question, too. Um, How do you feel about, like, Rain Man, he's he supposedly returning to the battle rap, Reed, pop, like, supposedly returning? How do you think they're going to do in the, new, in the new style of battle rap? I feel like it all comes down to exactly what I just said. Just like, I used to think Ness, and Solomon, I used to think Solomon might have got over on Ness. But honestly, it's like, I don't even like that hoo 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 type of rap no more. So it's like, I feel like Ness is, you know what I'm saying? So you got to know it's two different styles. Like, it's way different. So Rain Man is going to be the shit in Philly regardless. You know what I'm saying? 
Philly is going to like that style. But whether it's going to work in New York on the stage, I don't know. That takes a lot, man. You know what I mean? When I get on stage, they show me love in New York, but I put a lot of work in in New York. You know what I'm saying? So it's a different fan base. I don't know if they're going to show up. They fans are not those type of fans where they battle in New York on the stage and people got to see them. You know what I mean? People going to show up from all types of places to see me battle in New York. But uh, niggas ain't never really seen them battle in New York. Ain't, how many Philly battle rappers except Rosenberg and Tech Nine and all the new age people? You know what I'm saying? So I think not a rock. It's huh? not a rock from this. It's not a rock from this era. It's a rock from you know, from your era and Rain Man's era, but not not from this era, no. Right. So I mean, it's like I don't. My thing is just is like. I don't know why they would be trying to really do that at this point because it's like, is it over money? A nigga would probably do anything, but is it logical? You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they era is kind of a classic era. If anything, you would want them to come back with some dope music or something, and then you do a Philly versus New York with, you know, the Rosenbergs and all that. But I guess just to see them come out, you know, maybe one of them would do a Lux, I guess. That's what everybody looking for. But the talent is different. I feel like Reed is dope, but if there's too many people in there that don't want to hear him, they just care about New York, he's done. It's not It's not the same age where, you know what I'm saying? If the crowd don't want to hear you, they do not want to hear you. They do not care where you are from. It's cool when you're from all the way out St. Louis or somewhere far because they don't want to feel like, oh, man, we ain't give you no chance. But when you're from right down the road and half of the crowd is, oh, I'm from Philly in this bitch and, and don't even know you, and you're like, oh, man, you're making me look like it's a Philly versus New York thing because that's what you came for. You feel me? Exactly. So it's like exactly. It's, it's different, man. The politics is fucked. Like, you know what I'm saying? The politics is fucked unless you put in a lot of time, man. So I don't know. I battled a lot of New York niggas, bro, at this point. So... It's different, you know what I mean? But I've been to L.A. and been booed. If you watch that Cadillac Ron battle where a nigga booed me and I had to keep on battling and freestyle and come at the crowd just to, you know, that was a bullshit battle, but that shit can happen anywhere if you're not from there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nigga brought the crowd. Nigga had a, he had a game plan, you know what I'm saying? So if yeah, you got true. any plan, anybody can lose it. If John John come in there and everybody in New York fucking with him because he bringing the most motherfuckers in there, then don't nobody got a chance. It ain't got nothing to do with Reed or Rayman or none of them. But if you if they come to Philly and do a battle, then it's gonna be one sided. I don't care who it is. Philly is gonna go Philly. You see the Philly fans. Philly ain't you know what I mean? Then I feel like people gonna get to see like firsthand that the crowd do matter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if, if you bring that shit to Philly, so I, until I see it, I can't really call it, man, because, like, I'll I be working hard to, to come to them battles and at least give y'all half of what y'all want and give my hood half of what it want, and then my hood halfway don't fuck with me, and then y'all halfway don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So it's just... Yeah, it's, 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 it's impossible to please everybody. It's impossible right, to please everybody. If you, don't, if you don't flow, Philly ain't fucking with you. If your shit ain't got a flow like boom, 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 it ain't going right. So if your shit slow down and niggas ain't trying to hear that in Philly, niggas going to be like, oh, man, uh, yeah, I like the parts when you was rapid fire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it, you can't please niggas. You just got to put on the show. Half of them going to hate you. Half of them going to love you, whether you freestyle or kick some written shit. Just keeping it real. I, I'm just going to yeah. tell you, there been times that I done sat down and wrote for the source. Half the people said that I was whacking that. Half people said I was I was good. I came to the hollow battle and wasn't prepared at all. I had to freestyle about his man because he was interrupting and all types of shit. And niggas said that was a great battle. I did wonderful. And I felt like I did my worst. So it's just, you can't cater to that. It's, a, it's upon how people feel. Or I don't know, nigga. Like, all you can do is do your best and be prepared. So hopefully the niggas prepare and practice and do their best. But... It depends on where they at, man. I don't know. Yeah, true. You, might call try not to call. you don't think Sue Surf and them do better? You don't think Sue Surf and them do better because they're closer to New York so they can bring more people? Um, it, it helps. I mean, I guess in the building. 
I think I think in the building, the whole crowd thing and everything else helps because you know it, it it helps the energy in the room and this that and right. third. But on on footage, I don't think nothing can save a person on footage. You know, because right. when the footage drops, I mean, you know that's inter- that, that, that that's internal. Like like that 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 that's gonna live forever. Like you can't you can't hide behind the footage with with a bunch of hype men and the crowd making a whole bunch of noises over bars that probably doesn't hit as hard as you as you think they hit. You know what I'm saying? Like so, in the room, yeah, it matters. It matters in the room, but not on footage. Not on footage. Well, it's, it's two is, different. Y'all need, y'all need to pay these y'all niggas cycle, way I know. more. Y'all need to I pay these niggas better, way man. more. My these bad. niggas is underpaid. These niggas is underpaid for all this motherfucking work. Yeah, for real. I agree. That's a lot of work trying to figure all that out. You heard him, man. Then the footage, and then niggas be hyping the bar. I, I never, ever, ever cared about that. I mean, maybe I should, but I ain't never even stopped to think, oh, a nigga be hyped, and he, I, I don't really be caring. I come do my thing and leave. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Even, I, I don't even chill like the beans. I come, I'm like, I'm ready to rap now. I get my money, I rap, and I leave. Yeah, it's two diff- it's two completely different battles. One one in the room, and then it's one on footage. And it's like it's it that that's why you get all these different responses and everything else. Like you know, after after the battle's over, you hear a whole bunch of people leaving the event saying this person got killed, this person got murdered. It was three nothing. It wasn't even close. And then the battle dropped, and it ended up being debatable as hell. It, it, it happens all the time. We we just had we had this conversation all the time on the show. Um, let's try to get to a couple more calls though. Let's go, uh, do that, man. You there? What's good, family? What's poppin'? What's good, son? How you? Chilling. Forty. Forty. What's good, yeah? What's good, my G? What's up, bro? Hold on. Before I even start something, man, I just watched this Goods battle with Danger Zone. God, you niggas hyped up Goods so fucking much. Yo, I, listen, man. I agree with you, yo. The, I mean, yo, but you know what? I think Goods won the battle, but the crowd did hype them up to, like... They do it, son. The nigga said... Wait, hold on. The, the, I mean, yo, I ain't hear the shit on Goods, man, but that nigga's never done it for me in battle rap. Like, he's never really moved me like that. Like, a, like I know niggas would say he's top tier. Never felt that. First of all, fuck a top tier talk, first of all. But I never felt, like, classic replay value battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, the nigga just mm-hmm. averaging me, man. The nigga was saying some... He wears shirts that has grown man bars and all this other fuck shit, and them bars don't really be grown man bars. And you let T-Rex steal your slogan and roll with it, and he get better grown man bars than you, first of all. Yo, and niggas telling me Goods won because he out-swagged him. That's what the fuck we do in the battle rap now? We are swagging nigg- that niggas winning because of swag? Because you're, you're <laughs> just... <laughs> I mean, what the fuck is this battle rap, my niggas? I mean, niggas are telling me my in Twitter... Goods out swag danger zone. Like, the fuck does that mean? You know what I mean? Yo, the nigga Goods said, yo, you had a class with newborn? And niggas went crazy. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, nigga, he had a classic. When's the last time you had a classic, my G? I, I, I just, I don't be feeling that nigga like that, man. If he's battling Verb, from what I'm hearing, Verb gonna beat that nigga, yo. I don't give a fuck. A nigga can't tell me Goods can beat no fucking Verb when it comes to bars. I'm sorry. You ain't selling me that shit. The goods is just average to me, man. Average. Nah, man. yo, yo, hold on. But yo, to be honest though, like people would say that Hollow didn't even get the Lux spot because of his swag. Absolutely, no. just because of Hollow's thing, swag. You know, the, you know the one thing I will say about Goods, and I don't think nobody can argue this. He has never been bodied. I've never seen Goods get bodied, regardless of who he battled. Agreed. I I've never seen him get body. That that's the one thing you can say about good. Even if you think he lost. I agree all like battle, he, he, he never got body. body. Never got body at all. No, you can't sit there and say no one's body goods and shit. But on the other hand, you can't say he body nobody either and shit. You know what I'm saying? On the flip side and he picks his nice. one he of body X Factor. He bodies X Factor. X Factor. I think X Factor body himself, if you ask me. He bodied himself okay. that garbage ass shit he was talking about, first of all. I don't know the fuck X Factor was talking about. First of all, I wasn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the funny thing about that is X Factor went on a tirade and he was going to beat Goods. And let's keep it real, Battle Rap fans. Before that battle dropped, I'm pretty sure there's a large contingent that thought X Factor would have beat Goods. I thought so before that battle oh, dropped. Everybody thought so. Everybody thought so. Everybody thought so. What'd you say? No, I'm saying you 
Yeah, you're right, Psycho. He's never got body. That's real nigga shit. He's never got body. I just don't like... I don't be liking him as a battles, my nigga. It's not a battle. I'm shutting the crib, and I'm about to grab the Ciroc and shit. I'm like, yo, I'm going to watch a good battle. Like, I don't be... That nigga do not be moving me like that, man. I'm sorry, niggas. He do not be moving me like that at all, man. Uh, what my mouth got, though? Silly Swain, what's good, my G? What's up, bro? Yo, it's good to see old... I'm going to say old... I'm an old school nigga myself, but the old school niggas that I see from the era when battle rap was pure, and there was no money talking, there was no views talking bullshit. Niggas were just trying to rap and get their weight up and shit. As a nigga that's been around for a while... When you sit back and watch these new, these new niggas, what what did you think though, bro? Like who who moves you in battle rap? Who I, I when I look at that shit, I'm gonna keep it all the way hundred. I just be like, man, like these niggas is just Hollywood. They not, they not even doing this for what it was made for. Like it's like it's like niggas is just they this just they whole life now. Just I battle. I don't, I don't even make a record. You know what right. I'm saying? I don't make records or nothing. I just battle. Before it was like, nigga, while I'm in a session making a record, they brought a battle. I brought a, another nigga that make records in there, and they battle. And it, so yeah, the nigga battle blew, jumps off. You know what I mean? If a nigga yeah. blew his record up, if a nigga blew his record up, he'd be right next to ASAP Rocky or Kendrick, and he'd be able to battle them niggas. You know what I'm saying? But it's like I'm in this industry. I don't see no battle rappers, no matter what sessions I go in. I don't see no battle rappers. You ready? Um, but hip-hop ain't really popping like that to me either, though, my dude. To be honest with you, like, I'm coming from an era when, you know, I'm from the G-Rap, Rakim, Smith & Wesson, Mar Deep era. Like, none of these niggas that's rap. Like, you said ASAP Rocky. I can't, I don't like that nigga. I'm sorry. I don't like none of them skirt-wearing-ass rapper niggas. I really don't like 90% of the rap niggas that rap now anyway. I can't go fucking Fugazi-ass niggas if you ask. I'm an old school nigga. I'll stick with my roots. I hate every fucking rapper right now. Real talk, my nigga. I hate all of them. You know what I'm saying? I still right. listen to old school music, because these niggas do not be moving me. But, yo, I do fuck with one of them Philly niggas. Um, are you up on that nigga Santos? Yeah, Santos, that's my nigga. That nigga's a fucking bull, my nigga. I, that nigga, yo, I seen a shit on YouTube with that nigga on Cosmic Kev. God yeah, damn, that nigga was spitting some real pain rap, man. I, I fuck yeah, that with, that, with that nigga hard body. Yeah, that nigga's dope. He fuck with we run the streets with him. Um, that's my nigga. Yeah, that nigga, that, that young boy, he, he do get it in and shit, though, man. But, yo, I just don't, like like you said, man, I miss the battle rap. Like, for instance, Sue Surf had tweeted out something yesterday. I had to check that nigga. Yes, Jersey fan, I had to check your boy right quick. The nigga tweeted out um, battle rap groupies and shit, get off his dick, right? So I tweeted the nigga, the same niggas who you saying that to, my nigga, are the same niggas that give you the views that you niggas love talking about so much. So you might want to pipe down on getting that fans and shit talking about, um, battle rap groupies. No, nigga, the same battle rap groupies gives your motherfucking ass the motherfucking views, and you get that motherfucking money from Smack because of your views, nigga. Check yourself. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like the Hollywood ass niggas in battle rap. There's too much Hollywood shit. Like my niggas, real talk, man. That shit really burned my skin when a nigga told me goods out swag. Or, or, like, what does that mean? What do you mean swag? Any nigga that matches his kicks with his fucking shoes, what, what does that mean? Y'all swag them? Cause you grab your drink. And you, you try to fly on stage, like, that shit don't move me, nigga. This is about fucking bars. That's all I want is fucking bars, 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 bars. I don't give a fuck about your views. As fans, why should we give a fuck about views? And if you look at it, though, a lot of the niggas that have dope battles, they don't get views because us fans, some of us fans, are stuck on the big names. And the <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, hold on, hold on. You seem like you're on this real shit. Let me ask you this. Since you're on your Tupac mode, let me ask you this, man. Like, <laughs> Let me give you a question, man. What do you think about JC and this dance? Yo, I was a JC fan. I seen that dance tape, and I felt like I felt like I was on Melrose and seen a nigga bitch and thought that was a girl real fast. Like, oh man. <laughs> yeah, but like, I felt like I ain't gonna shit on JC though, man. I ain't gonna shit on JC because of that. Because <laughs> it's the same thing I like Rick Ross. I right, give you an example. It's the same thing I like Rick Ross. Niggas got mad at Rick Ross because he was a CO. See, I went and got Rick Ross totally, fucked up and lied about that shit. That's, totally, di that's totally different. That's totally different, man. CO, really you funny, being nigga. a police officer, that's you being a police officer. That's that's a totally different type of uh, 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 killer. That's like a total different type of killer. It's like a four or five and an AK. I feel like not really. Let me, let me tell you, hold on. Let me, let me, let me screw you right quick, my nigga. Why? Why I disagree with that totally? Because 
if you a CEO, let's be real, there's crooked cops out there. You tell me? He didn't. He wanted to lie to the public and said he wasn't a CEO. Now, nah, nigga like me, I'd have been like, yeah, nigga, I was a CEO. I was getting on tax. I was doing this, that, and the third. I was taking care. Like, you know what I'm saying? To the point with JC now, that don't bother me. Oh, oh, that, that, let's be real. Niggas is trying to battle rap. This is not thug thugism one on one right here, my nigga. We just want to hear balls. All that tough guy shit and battle rap is the reason why niggas can't get venues now in New York City from what I'm hearing, which is some fucked up shit. I don't niggas think what Mass did and Serious Joe was popping, but it fucked up a lot of shit for battle rap in New York from what I'm understanding. You know what I mean? So right. I ain't gonna knock JC for dancing. I don't. I don't look at battle rap niggas as hardcore niggas. I just, like I said, I'm on some bar shit, my nigga. I guess I'm different than anybody else. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't bothering me. He was dancing, nigga. You could dance. Hey, shit, Prodigy dance some fucking his shit, and, and Jay-Z pull the screen now. That don't discredit a nigga to me and shit when it comes to your rhymes. If you can rhyme, you can rhyme. I mean, I, I don't I'm, know, man. The I'm coming with different talk, my nigga. I'm 30 plus years old, so all that other tough guy shit don't really move me and shit. I just no, don't know no, how to rhyme. I don't even mean tough guy at all. I just mean, like, it just was a different person than I knew. When I seen it, it was like, oh, shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, mean, I, I'm, not, saying, I'm not saying one way or another. I asked you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, don't bother me. It don't bother me, know. bro. It don't bother me because you just dancing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's one thing, you trying to portray a tough guy and, and some other shit. You know, JC never really come off like he want to be tough number one on one. You know? So I don't know. That is my opinion, man. But yo, I think yo, yo, I, I exactly, I, I exactly said the same shit. Yo, three letter man. Yo, we don't have that much time left, man. I want to get. I let your boy though, man. You already know what it is, man. Let me swing. Good to see you back on URL, man. I let your boy. All right, for sure. So right. Just a couple Thank more fans, cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's go eight four three. You there? Eight four three. Yo. Yep. Yeah. What's good? Swing. You there? Boogie Flames, yeah. what up, though? Yo, yo, yo. Oh, oh, Boogie Flames, I killed this dude. <laughs> listen, Boogie, though. Um, listen, though. Tell these niggas who I am, Jesse. Hold on, before you talk, though, let me say this. It's, I'm, I'm in Philly right now. I'm down fifth right now. And I battle with I was listening to you and shit. It's a lot yeah. of young niggas. Shout out Dub the Phenom. Shout out Key Rucker. He do the YouTube, boy. He the boy who did a little snoop shit. Like, I go to New York and battle. Shout out We Go Hard TV in Brooklyn. G-Boys, all that shit. So, I respect you. You was definitely saying real shit. But I just got to, as a man, correct you on that shit. Like, it's niggas from Philly going to New York, but it's them new niggas you talking about that's hungry. Like, I'm one right. of them. Jesse Rican, though. I just killed them about a month ago. What? I was going to Jesse I, 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 <laughs> But, uh, oh, I won the battle, saying. but, nah, yo, Boogie, Boogie's definitely man hungry but, to, to get into the battle game. But, go, yo, go ahead, man. You're, you're on the line with, a, a like, a Philly originator, too. Uh, I, oh, no, I, was just, I, was just, I was just talking about, I was talking about the old niggas. I know it's, like, million-dollar cash, a lot of new niggas. I was talking about the old niggas. I was saying the old niggas ain't really, they, they from an era where they never jumped on a big stage and none of that shit, like, they so, don't do none of this, this new school so shit. So why these so. niggas, so why, so, so, so I want you, I want you to ask Norbs or whoever listening for the PGs and all that, why they scared to put a Philly nigga on the main stage, like, Bill Collector's not from Philly. You know what I mean? These niggas, like, it's no Philly nigga that's Tech 9, shout out Tech 9. I still think that nigga nice, but it's a whole different era. And they, and these right. niggas scared to pick up a Philly dude because of the same reason, like, we not with all that game shit. Like, that touching niggas shit is not cool. Like, right. I had to check niggas in a few of my battles. And that's why, like, I battled Mr. Wavy, the bull, uh, me no like. I battled him. A lot of these PG niggas that's on Smack now, I battled these niggas. You know what I mean? So ask these niggas why they scared to put us, give us an opportunity. That's real shit, though. I know the, huh? the I know the what did a lot of Philly it was a lot of Philly dudes on the the Battle Rap Arena um joint yesterday. The shout out Dub the shout out Dub the Fina. Well, go ahead, I'm you know. going to finish my fault. No, that's real. No, that's real shit. What that nigga just said though. Yo, hit me on Twitter and inbox me a number and all that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I've been um I've been doing a whole lot of traveling and shit, but I don't know. Fuck with me, man. We'll talk about politics all off. 
off this tip because, you know, they always be on some we too gangster and we be bullying and shit, so you don't want to come off like that. This hit me on Twitter. Right. We talk, you know what I'm saying? We talk Listen, like no, this, on the side. This why this shit, but, this why this shit real. This why this shit real. Cause I don't watch this sh- Like, Jesse Rican, no, I don't watch this shit. I battle him for the views that he get for this show. This is my first time watching it, and I hate that I had to be on the line that long. But, like, it was legendary that it was with you. I ain't never watched this shit. Like, so I'm a definitely, my name Boogie Flames. So whenever I hit you up, bro, I know you, I know you somewhere I'm trying to get to. But when you, like, whenever I reach you, Boogie Flames, bro. You know what I mean? Right. Yo, 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 see, I'm yo, definitely yo, I, I, I was telling him Shout out, we go too, on like, TV. Now, Flames, you don't, you don't even have a Twitter, right? Oh, or you just... I respect, just got an Instagram. Right? Listen, man, I, I try to stay offline because, like, it's, like, it's that shit take over your whole life and shit, but I just got an Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm See, about to, I got a that's Facebook. The worst move I mean, I get the bitches, the... though, from the, from the Facebook jump. I'm about to get a Twitter, though, because, you know, I got I got to reach the big homie, so I'm about to get a Twitter. Right, you got to definitely hit me up. Or hit, me up on the, hit me up on the gram. Just leave a message under my jaw that, you know what I mean? who you is and shit, and then I'll just uh, direct you my number so you can hit me up, and you know what I'm saying? We figure out whatever it is, man. I'll be helping niggas out. Man, everything's a blessing, man. Need to be. Niggas make you mad because that shit all politics, and, and nigga, it ain't nobody from where we from that run no league, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that got that type of power, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was trying to do with Ground Time Philly, but the biz was all wrong. I had Red Bull behind me and everything, but they biz was just, just wasn't right, you know what I mean? So, you know, the first event was cool, but we wasn't able to keep it going because I was all the way out in L.A., but we'll figure out something, bro. I feel, I feel exactly ready, where you're coming from because ain't nobody opening up no doors for you. Niggas ain't do that for me. Niggas, I want on 106 and Park, and niggas seen a chance to exploit me. That's the only way I got a battle. You know what I'm saying? Just keeping it a bean. That shit is totally Just business. Reaching, I never man. Talk to me, niggas, niggas, my man. friend. I, I mean, I ain't going to keep you up, bro. I ain't going to keep you up. I'm out here. Like I said, I'm out here right now. I, I told you, next battle man, rapper Reno event, shit, that I'll, I'll have shit, you out there. This shit legendary yeah. right here. You know what I mean? Like, Boogie Flings on the same shit with this man. Like, that's that's what it is. Like, I ain't, I, I'd rather have been with him than Hitman Holler or anybody else. Ain't too many real niggas, man. I appreciate this shit. But I'm about to be the fuck gone, though, bro. So, I'm bro. Yo. Yo, I, yo, I, I, I love everything I heard, man. And real niggas don't gotta say no homo. Like I love everything I heard, bro. I'm up. Right. 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 But, but what y'all gotta understand, though, man, it's really real where we from. You feel me, my nigga? Like, like in New York, you not renting no motherfucking house for four hundred a month. You feel me? Like niggas in Philly living in cribs four hundred a month. Like a nigga ain't no job, nothing, there ain't shit out there. That's why the niggas be so aggressive like that. You feel me? Like, nigga, when we get our chance, nigga, like, what you mean? Why we ain't on that stage, nigga, like, everybody else, like, that shit real. You feel me? Like, so. Yeah. I'm, I'm about to move out to Philly. Yeah, I know, yeah. right? So that's keep it up. <laughs> that's that's keep it up. Shit. Nigga, but when you it's only 400 a month, how many rocks a nigga got to move to have his own crib? See, I'm about to say, the, um, they don't make as much money down there, though. That's why. Price oh, nigga, fuck it up. Nigga, they got nothing. Price of living is cheaper down there. That's that's why they don't pay as much um, for the rent and everything. Yeah, like, maybe you're going to get a platter for like $3. Yeah. It's like, real, a pack nigga. of cigarettes. Fuck How up. much in the fucking city? Like $13 you got to pay like for a pack of cigarettes in the fucking city? Yeah. Let's see. Let's talk about it. Oh, man. So I felt where Youngin was coming from. That was real shit. That's what's up. All right, let's go for what I try. Yeah. 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 What's up, man? I just wanted to say what's up, man. I was listening. And I wanted to see if uh, if Forty was gonna go battle Tiger Ty, man. You gotta get that man out of here, man. <laughs> that's a Norm's idea, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's a good idea. That's a good idea because I was listening to man. No, 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 him yo, up I, like I, he was yo, nice. I, I would do it, but I mean, like, I don't even know if he battle raps anymore. Like, like Norm's got to figure all that out. You know, I, like I'm willing to do it, but I, I think people just ran with that. Um, okay. Yo, okay. Are you still battling though? You still active battler? For me? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I was, I don't know, man. I'm thinking, yo, Psycho, what do you think, man? Should, should I, should I hang up the white towel, or should I do, yo? Nah, man, yeah. you can't hang it up till you get Tiger Ty yeah. out of here, man. Get, I just seen man. a new like, battle like, with him, man. It was terrible, dog. Let's see, yeah, you gotta wow. get Tiger Ty out of here, man. That's your job. That's your mission in battle rap to get Tiger Ty the fuck out of here, just. You gotta do it, son. And then, and then hang right. it up. And then you can hang it up, my nigga. That's all. Would you agree? My bad. Go ahead, Psycho. No, no, go ahead, Jesse. What you about to say? No, I was, I was going to ask Philly. Uh, yo, thanks for the call. We're, go, we're going to get to another call. But um, would you agree with me when I told the dude, like, yo, you need a Twitter and shit? Like, how much so? I don't think he understands how much social media part in the fact. Yeah, I don't, not, but I don't, think, I don't think you. I don't think you understand that, like, Philly is fucked up, my nigga. Like, the nigga, like, you thinking on the, on the lines of the shit that we on, like, Young boy out there may not know where he gonna stay tonight. You talking about the Twitter? You feel me? Like yeah, yeah. Niggas, niggas, niggas out there getting it, nigga. It's hard. Like I'm a legend where I came from, nigga, from the street game, nigga. Like I've been getting money for a long time. I'm one of the few niggas that got money just in real life. Like niggas is fucked up. Yeah, I got to all that, but. He still got to promote himself, so like he like like locally, that you know that's cool. Local, like if he wants to stay local, that's that's cool and everything. But if he wants to get himself out there, like you were saying earlier, like if he wants it so people out of Norway know who he is and all this other shit and everything else, he has to start promoting himself as a brand. He has to, all all people in, all only people in Philly are gonna know, him. and th- th- that, that's all. That's, I mean, like do you want to be known in Philly? Or does he want to be known in Norway also? Like, you know, no, like, no, but so. That's, but that's why I told him, but that's why I told him, you'll take my number so I can help get him right, even if I got to get somebody to work at my label to help him get his shit together. But most niggas, like, they, they really worry about if they can stay alive. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you ain't got yeah. nothing, eventually you're going to steal or take or burn somebody for a pack, and you're going to have real beef. And you gonna have that like I, my beef just I just grew out of my beefs, but it's probably been like fifteen, sixteen niggas letting people know, nigga, we gonna kill him. Shooting at people, letting them know, nigga, when we see your man, we gonna kill him. So you you know, like I had to battle my way out of beef eventually. My battle career took me places in life and introduced me to people that helped me get further in life, but nigga, I understand what he's going through. He you, he really literally may not know where he's going be at tonight or even if he do he got to maintain that and then he still got to worry yeah. about internet and then worry about getting on the phone he may not even have a smartphone you know what i'm saying like it's a lot of yeah. things you got to think about when it comes you know that was a, a little bit of gleam of hope like oh shit a nigga respecting me enough to hear where i'm coming from and maybe it can help him get to that's why i asked him for his number number with another nigga going front on him to act like he don't know him later I'm trying to reach out and help the nigga because he do need that. You are 1,000%. Everyone needs that. Everyone needs help out of here. It's people are, that will help you. Stop dealing with people that yeah. don't want to help you or don't believe in you and find people that will help you and are crazy enough to believe in you. You know what I'm saying? And those are the people going to rock with you to the end. This is true. Help you with Twitter and all Facebook and all that shit, man. But if you, yeah. just because of how she look and not how she helping you, you're going to go nowhere in life game fucked up, then you got the game fucked up, and you, you, yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's young nigga thinking right there, but yeah, <laughs> that's a whole other subject, <laughs> let's, 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 let's talk, you know exactly what I'm talking about too, but yeah, I'll tell the one, you there, I'll tell the one, all right, let's try, let's try another one, let's go, uh, this is 617, you there? 617? Yeah. Let's go uh, 860, you there? 860? Oh, wow, three. Three in a row. <laughs> yeah, we think of... 617. Let's try... Uh, yo, we we think over try, time. You want to try one more? Yeah. No, go ahead. Hello? 336, you there? What's up, Silly Swing? Yo, 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 what's up? Yo, I've been watching you forever. I was wondering what happened to you after you body fire, boy. I was like, what happened? 
Man, I don't know, man. I just start doing a lot of other shit, man. Dealing with like BMX, call animal, just trying to, you know, make money to survive. And nigga, that famous shit start getting corny when you ain't got no, no money. Some niggas is cool with it, but I'm not, man. Niggas be trying to live off bitches and shit. I mean, that ain't me. That ain't me. They got to get mine. So please excuse me. I'll be dipping off to get my bread, then coming back, jumping in this limelight. You know what I mean? But nigga. Still fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? That that always count, you know what I mean? I I only do it for the niggas that can understand the struggle, man. Not I, I ain't here to show off. I ain't never been like, yo, I got a million. I ain't never did that in a battle. I ain't never made a bunch of tapes trying to diss a nigga. None of that. Like it ain't about that with me, nigga. It's about trying to get at this dollar before I go in that casket, nigga. These niggas got a bunch of time to play wrestling with no with no check now. Now nigga cut me a check, I'll turn into Hulk Hogan, nigga. Whatever niggas want me to do, but they ain't, they ain't giving out them type of checks, my nigga. They're giving you a check big enough for you to survive for the couple weeks. You know what I mean? That's the biggest. The biggest check you're going to get in this shit going to survive you for a couple weeks. Money spent fast. You know that psycho. That shit's been like motherfucking, my nigga. Like, that's, trust me, rap money. That shit's going to spend faster. Yeah. Uh, uh, psycho, you know who I'd like to see in the PGs? Oh, Solo. <laughs> oh man, that was wild, man. Hey, I don't think about that last. Hey, I don't care. He had the line of the year last year. <laughs> one nigga, which one? Get two nigga, three nigga, <laughs> four. <laughs> That's who just yeah, that, that 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 line's going on him for the rest of his life. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I feel like that's one of the real niggas that worry more about the theatrics than worried about fucking just literally working on your fucking lyrics. Like, nigga, I come to battles and I freestyle, but I literally, my life is fucked. Like, I can't even have a conversation with, like, out freestyling every second till my battle. I don't go still and then show up to the battle drunk and then think I'm going to do my thing. Like, nah, hell no, nigga, this shit is for real. But I don't know, when he put on a mask and all that, I kind of, he lost me with that. I was confused. Yeah, I was they, like, damn, he, this thing was oh so I thought with the Braves. But, yeah, he, he, he was, he was a bit, he was a little bit delusional right there. He, he, he just, yeah, that was him, that was him, that was him just thinking he didn't have to do too much. And that, that, that would be good enough. And it wasn't. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. he, he got that one. Yeah. I don't know, man. That'd be them bitches, man. Them bitches would be sucking the nigga's dick and saying you the man. Like, no, like, you really got to <laughs> study the craft. Like, when you wasn't getting no dick sucks, you know what I'm saying? This this mm-hmm. famous shit, man. This fucking diluting the, it's, it's, it's diluting the game like a month. I'll like, be watching battles. I'll be like, man, almost every, once it get past the half of the second round, the battle be whack as fuck. Like, it may start cooking, and then you can tell where a nigga ain't really remember. Like, he ain't go over his bars a thousand times. He went over them till he remembered them. And then he went over them every time he got nervous. And he ain't give no real practice to this shit. Like, back in the day, nigga, we used to practice. Nigga, it was real. Nigga, we had to go to school the next day, battle in the lunchroom. Nigga, that in, yeah. the, in, the, in the motherfucking train station, wherever, nigga, wherever it jumped off, nigga. Then you would see a rapper pull up. Nigga, a thousand niggas going rap, nigga. And if you don't rap, your whole crew can be like, man, you ain't even rap. I don't want to hear that rap shit. So you always yeah. had to rap, my nigga. Like, these niggas don't get no practice. They just show up to the job with no practice at all. And just, that's why I was feeling with Clutch Yo. that you can't ask AI because this takes practice. Because you can tell he's been I, practicing I, on this new shit. Maybe not the old shit, but the new shit he's been practicing. I could, and I could tell, like, Battle rap probably is missing that. Like motherfuckers don't scrimmage anymore. Like you can look at those as like scrimmages. Like motherfuckers just jumping all in ciphers and just saying, and you know like see who the last man standing in cipher or whatever. That like motherfuckers. Don't, I don't think these motherfuckers scrimmage anymore. I think they just that is go straight to these battles and like and they and they crunch them in so close together to where they don't have time to really be fully prepared the way they should be prepared for each battle and everything. And they not yeah. they not scrimmages, so they not really as sharp as they probably should be. So like, yeah, I I, I agree. I think battle rap. And, then, and then it's like it's so much thievery though, man. Like nigga, like man, I, niggas be stealing a lot of shit from me, and I just be like, damn, that shit is crazy. Like, whoa, just constantly getting shit stole from me, and ways I do things, and the aggression that I brought to the game just. 
constant shit be getting stole. So it's hard for you to develop because as soon as you do it, the next battles, the next four battles, every like when when Lux beat Calico, everybody wanted to rap like Lux. Now everybody had more of a complex style of rap, and it was just like yeah, yeah. like kill that shit. That's, That's why I, I, I felt honestly, I feel like I, stuck to the. I feel like was on. I feel like. I feel like Daylight kind of Jack Luck style. I ain't going to even lie to you. I feel like when like when Daylight battled you, I feel like that was a completely different Daylight than the Daylight that's battling right now. I feel like Daylight is battling now. I think he tried to mirror mirror image Lux a little bit as far as like it's just his flow, as far as his flow and the way he delivers shit. Like he's like he's almost spitting poetry instead of instead of actually battling. I think right. that it, don't get me wrong. He has bars, but. It's the way he delivers it. Like he de- he, he kind of like almost delivers this shit kind of lux lux esh if that's even a fucking word. <laughs> I feel like he, he kind of does that now more so than he did like when he battled you. I feel like when he battled you, that was more daylight. I feel. I, I, I feel like when I feel like these battle rappers just take it too serious for it to be no prize. Like, okay, if you get a million views, that doesn't matter. If you get, if that's in anything, though. If you don't figure out a way to trap this money, you're going to be looking like Lil Mo and them on that R&B show no matter how big you get. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I watch that yeah. Lil Mo show, I'll be like, dang, would Gwen Stefani and Britney Spears ever do a show like Lil Mo and fucking Claudette from City High? It's just like a washed-up reality show. Like, damn, is battle rappers going to do this one day? Is it going to be... 40-year-old battle rappers washed up on a reality show on Oxygen? Like, that's where it's shit is going. You, you know what I'm saying? You have like, see these washed up. You have to see these old FMCs on, I mean, Ghostface is on fucking reality right now. And you have, uh, I mean, I mean, show slaved it. And <laughs> it's what it is. Like, they already on reality TV. They just don't got a whole series dedicated to it. They don't have a whole right series there. dedicated to it. Oh shit! Sure. But these niggas is but these niggas is people that accomplish and made money and can make money at a drop of a dime. People like Ghostface and Sway, you feel me? Like that's different. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to these battle rappers, you're not making no money at all. You're just making yourself more and more famous, and you're not thinking for a second on how to make yourself money. Like everybody's like, why didn't you go battle Smack? Why didn't you go battle Smack? If I would have went and battled Smack, well, how they was anti hating on. Not Smack itself, but all the battle rappers was rebelling on Grand Time. It would have lost me a whole white fan base that I had just got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I already had the black fans from this, just them loving the Philly scene, but just getting them white fans and a lot of uh, the white fans you, that even watch you on know, came from Grand Time. Was and, Grand Time was tapping you for a whole different market. Like, so I understand right. what you so said. It gave me BMX endorsements. I ain't bought clothes and I God knows when. You know what I'm saying? It got me involved in all types of other stuff, like, to where I could make money. Like I said, I go to a BMX event, get 2500 for a walkthrough. You know what I mean? I don't do tricks and all yeah. that crazy stuff. I just rep for the culture of BMX and hoop culture, the same thing. I go to a venue, do a celebrity game, I get half of the venue. So it's, like, different than me just saying, oh, I'm a battle, 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 disrespect everybody, make whole races hate me, and still try to get money. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, this I know exactly Like, Jay-Z and DMX wasn't making battle raps. Like, them niggas was taking the same verses and able to put them in, on songs because them shits was so, like, just a reflection of who they are and delivering their thoughts. Now everybody's goal is to be invincible. I'm going to show invincibility. You know, that's why it didn't even take me for a second to say, I didn't stop for a second to say, hook off on daylight in this battle. It didn't even, it, it was inappropriate. Like, because I'm a real guy. Yeah. In it's places where shit is inappropriate. Like, it's been times I've been sitting down with my family and seeing some drama, and you got to let it go. You can't just, mom, get yeah. the fuck out of here. I got beef with this nigga. Like, it's certain places where you cannot do that, and it's these dudes don't even know it's that shit. Place for everything. It's a time and place for right. everything. That didn't right, exist. but they, they so caught up in a dude who go to sleep and watch fucking Family Guy or something. He only watch battles and leaves tweets once a day, but you swear he is <laughs> it. You swear life evolve around it like you. And you're making decisions based upon this 12-year-old dude behind a default that you can't even see his face. You know, these niggas are 12 year olds 11-year-olds leaving these comments. Niggas having nervous breakdowns about them. Me, I always get in the big black 
nigga from the Bahamas, so I always had to have my bus game right. I never cared if a bitch said I'm ugly, because she probably suck my dick later. So I don't, it, 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 I'm not going to act upon how a person feels about me at the time. Like, and I feel like every battle rapper is doing that. Whatever people think they need to be doing that at the time, they do that. Just like Disaster. He's ill as fuck. When he battled past day, everybody going to jump back on the Disaster waves. Once Drake really get involved in that league, he's there, everybody's going to be on the Disaster wave. But now it's old Disaster getting killed, old Disaster. No, go back to what 50 Cent said. His only competition is himself. Are you better than the last time you went? Because whoever he battled doesn't matter. It's just, are you better than the last time you went, Diz? Or are you better than your best time, Diz? Or are you worse than your worst time, Diz? Nobody cares about whether or not he's actually beating these people in battles. And once a battle rapper figures that out, then they'll be able to start making money like I'm able to make money. Straight up. You'll, hmm. you'll be able to make money off because it's not that serious. So you'll be able to pay attention to other shit rather than locking all the way into this, and now you hate Smack because he won't devote his whole life to giving you battles. No, nigga, you got to have another hustle because after Smack, Smack needs to be able to hustle without having to have feelings and emotions so the culture can grow. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't fucking Hulk Hogan, you ain't going to keep on getting the WrestleMania. That's, that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this is Hulk Hogan right now. Luck should be on every mm-hmm. Summer Madness card for the history of man. And, and Smack need to figure that out so that they can continue to make money. Even if he got to sit down and negotiate parts of come-ins and go-ins, uh, that's just me as a businessman stating that. Salute to whatever that man decided to do on his own. But I'm just saying, like, unless you're really on that level, you shouldn't be bragging about views that a, that a league got you. If you really didn't get them on your own, a league got them. Just like remember when when Tech Nine battled uh, Miles, that shit got two hundred forty thousand views in like three hours. Straight up, yeah. like on some other shit. But it wasn't a good battle though. It was a straight mm-hmm. illusion. We were so hyped and the timing was so right that Tech gave us such a show that we didn't realize that it was more of a like show than it was a battle. Yeah. So. And give it really no replay value after that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, just, I just feel like niggas don't be building nothing themselves. They just ride off these leagues, and then they be mad as shit because, like, I got battles where a nigga just walked into a tattoo parlor and I just battled him straight freestyle, called it me versus no name, just to show niggas I'm an MC. So, you know, just working on my craft, not just yeah. hiding behind the league. Niggas a scrimmage, so to speak. Have an right, exhibition right. game, so to speak. Right, you're not really an MC. You're just you. You're not really good. You just know how to play roughhouse. You don't really know how yeah. to play ball. You just know how to play roughhouse because you're bigger and you know how to grab the ball and hurry up and put it back in. Like, you know, player, like, like an NBA player stepping in the park and shit, stepping to the park just to you know work on his game or whatever during the off season or something. It's not an something NBA like player that. because these niggas. It's not an NBA player because they can't transition past the street ball. They can't go past yeah. the street ball. It's just out there. They like, you know, half man, half amazing, and all the niggas that super dope ball players, but they can't get under the whistle. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. These niggas just like the young boy. Oh, I'm out here, nigga. I can't be on the phone with you right now. I'm about to jump on this Twitter. This is real shit, and you know it's real shit. But I gotta, I take my number, man, so I can help you get your business straight, my nigga. Because after we do all the real niggas saluting, then how how did I help you make any type of money being an entrepreneur out this bitch? You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. Niggas not trying to be entrepreneurs. They just trying to be stars and famous. And that's what females do. They want to be pretty and cute and, ooh, you saw me. I got a million views. The two girls, one cup got a hundred million views. Like, what the fuck? I, don't, I just don't mm. see where the view shit matters, man. The view shit means nothing, man. It, to Straight them, it up, means man. everything. Unfortunately, that's what battle rap has become. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, got, you got anything you want to promote or anything before we get out of here? Well, um... I'm doing a project with my homie Soko and Dre in day one. You know what I'm saying? I got a new record with Schoolboy Q and Slick Capone. That's what I'm going to drop when Schoolboy shit drop. I'm out Hollywood working, man. Just My next move's got to be my best moves. You know what I mean? I'm staying in shape. I'm about to battle KG the Poet out in Fresno. You know what I mean? Really mm-hmm. because I need a... Uh, I need that thousand dollars to put towards this new ride. I'm trying to get this new crib and all. I'm trying to make a couple moves. You know what I'm saying? 
It's like, no, I'm, yeah. uh, I'm about to go battle home just to, you know, I went to London. I like that shit. That shit was dope. The bull, uh, absurd from, uh, I don't even, assault and battle. And we battled February 1st out in Fresno and shit. You know what I mean? The niggas is real cool. How they putting it together? It's not, not no weird shit that I see, you know, yet. You know, you never know what other niggas is bringing to the table. But it's, it's cool. It's, it seems cool. I'm going to go up there and battle this nigga and, Y'all get to see me back. I ain't going to sit here and brag and say I'm about to take over the world. Y'all going to check that out, and then hopefully that will lead y'all to my videos and a bunch of other shit that I'm doing. But I'm never going to make battle in my whole life. I'm sorry if anybody's expecting that, but that's not what battle was invented for. It's a platform for you to be seen so that you can get other avenues out. I'm not saying you should put out albums, but at least do the T-shirt thing like Lux is doing, even though he does do music and all that. And he killed that Mac Miller intro. That was dope. You know what I'm saying? But you got to you gotta focus on growing because this YouTube shit didn't exist long enough ago for us to figure out exactly how to make the money you're supposed to make from it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think yeah. shit like Annoying Orange, the show Annoying Orange, that shit done blew the fuck up. And I remember when that shit was on YouTube just like a battle. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you mm. figure out a way to help the culture and stop trying to help your fucking self, Everybody's trying to help themselves and not trying to help the culture. And if you pay attention to helping the culture, then you'll understand me way better. I say that to anybody. And salute to you, Psycho, man. I, I understand you building hip-hop and making the plateau and staying alive, even people even knowing who you are in that Jersey era when everything was going down. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like my, OG from, is my OG is from Newark. You know what I mean? His name Terry Hawthorne. That's the nigga that taught me how to rap. Him and Lil Jamal. Lil Jamal is from my block. That's the first nigga I ever go do your rap thing. You know what I'm saying? So I understand yeah. the, the level of lyricism back then when you really, really had to be able to freestyle while a nigga was doing the mouth beat. You know what I'm saying? And you had to stay yeah. on beat or it would be whack. And you had to wonder yeah. you always wanted him to do the beat because this shit was heavier. Not the nigga that was light. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, exactly. What it, grew into, what it grew into, niggas like us, got to keep staring the young niggas and just turning this, because Jay-Z was an older nigga when this shit popped off. He had already went through the days rapping that Daddy Kane party, battling everybody he could battle. Just You know, everybody mm -hmm. went through the same things. Now, I just need some of these niggas to grow up, actually grow up, worry about your business. It's not about your craft, nigga. That's fine. It's about how you're going to be a tycoon in this industry where 1% of the people got the money and 99% of the people are poor. You got to keep serving where you came from, yet still grow at the same time and not let that shit pull you down. It's a Rubik's Cube. So that's just my game to niggas trying to make it happen out here because I'm going through that shit every day regardless of how good or how bad I may be doing. So I don't want a nigga out there that may be the next one to feel discouraged because he can't get a battle or because it's not about a battle. It's about whatever takes you promotion-wise. You know? Exactly. A lot, of it, a, lot of it's all the MC, a lot of it's all on the MC. Can't blame, you know, it's all on what you do with it. You know, a URL is just a platform. The rest is on you, you know. So, right, so it's fucking you know. stop getting on smack and norbs. Let them niggas breathe. They trying to help. You know what I'm saying? It's like what niggas be doing to their bitch. They be snapping on their bitch. That bitch ain't doing nothing. That bitch suck your dick. What the fuck are you snapping on her for? But then when the police pull you over, it's like, sorry, officer, I'm, I know I was... You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas be yeah. the wrong people to take their frustrations in life out on, man. Like, for real, right. man, niggas is just working, man. Niggas ain't got nothing against nobody. You know, I had to get my mentality right and start seeing things different. So I understand where all them dudes coming from. They just want they just want to make a way out of no way. You know what I mean? Even rich kids want to want to be something. You know, look at Erg over there and, and don't flop. That nigga has no fucking idea how many people he piss off. He's just some rich kid from the suburbs doing real good. You know what I mean? Staying with his parents and everything is all good. He don't know nothing about niggas out here looking at dope fiends die in the alley. That shit does not happen in his reality. So he don't take life as serious as the next man will. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I totally flip, agree. It's a flip that, point. That's like you said, it's a, it's a culture clash, man. Yeah. You put, yeah. You put that perfect. All this shit is a fucking culture clash. All this. Like the niggas, don't know real niggas come to me and say, man, daylight was all... I be having to check the weird niggas like, yo, 
what do you mean? So you've never been through nothing. So that's the worst thing that probably would happen to you if somebody jumped in your face. You probably think the world about to end. And if the nigga pulled a gun yeah. out and put it in my face, nigga, that'd be what I'm used to. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, okay, yeah. that's real tough. Nigga pull. But the nigga ain't do nothing. Like, even with the math shit, it's just, it's the fans that, that's yeasting that. Do, do y'all want to battle or do y'all want to fight? Like, nigga, you can watch Mayweather or somebody else, but it's exactly. the battle rap. Yeah, exactly. You ain't supposed to watch a battle looking for a fight. Like it just, it just, it just don't work like that. I, I don't know. I don't know. And people just like I said. Some people listen to the lyrics. They get confused. They they take this shit literally. What these motherfuckers be talking about? And some you got some motherfuckers who from the street, and they don't understand the culture because you know in their eyes they just see a motherfucker talking reckless to his motherfucker face all the motherfucker face. And they they think it's street shit, so they like they thinking well, motherfucker couldn't be doing that shit to me. I, I fuck a motherfucker up, motherfucker talking to me like that in my face, and so so they 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 expecting it, like they looking for it, because yeah, they don't understand that's just how the shit is, and so they looking at it from a different aspect, and it, it's just crazy, it's just crazy. I, I yeah, just, you, I, like you I said, that, you, you put that shit perfect, man. That's the reason why I do not get in. Uh, that's I me. Mean, men are being too emotional, bro. People being emotional for me. Oh, man, that nigga was, I was like, man, the nigga ain't do nothing. What the fuck? Like, yeah. man, that's, that's some lunchroom shit. Oh, man, he bumped you, man. You gonna let him bump you? Like, man, what you want to see me rumble this man? What did this, did this man tell you he wanted to rumble me? What is, what's the real picture? Like, cause, nigga, it ain't enough going on here for me to feel like it's real. So what's really yeah, going on? Exactly. That's what everything in battle rap, man. And then these leagues is doing anything to yeast it up. And then, I don't know, man. I, I hope that Hollow and Lux John do real good. I, I've got way more belief in Hollow than anybody got any. I feel like Hollow is real good at what he do. He's the epitome of more or less a new school way of battle rapping. Not new school is new, new, where these niggas all do this poetry shit. But I'm talking yeah. about like, the, the new school where it's like I can combat that because I've been so much time in jail. I've been like 19 years old, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I was all in jail, you know what I'm saying? So that I think mm -hmm. many battle rappers in jail that it's like Hollow got a different type of style that a lot of people do fuck with, but some people don't get it. So it's like, yeah. like you said, a culture shock, and then Hollow is West Indian like me. A lot of people don't know that. So his rhythm always be on point. You know, so it's two mm -hmm. different things. You know what I'm saying? You're dealing with two different mm -hmm. mechanisms. Like, Hollow going to give niggas in Philly what they want, but he may not give niggas in New York exactly what they want. That's how that True. shit is. He may not give the Queens niggas what they want, but he may not get a Brooklyn and Harlem niggas what they want. It's just, it's, it's mm -hmm. no way to balance it but to hope that it's a good fight. Like Justin Rica said, just like look at it like boxing and just hope that that shit is a good fight. Hope you get a, a motherfucking... A motherfucking Gotti fight or something like I don't know I I I don't get into it that deep I feel like there's not enough money into that shit like niggas need to put way more money in the battle rap and they need to deal with the niggas that got real talent not the favoritism and the bigotism where niggas just keep begging you so you that's who you fuck with because they on your dick yeah. I think it need to deal with real live talent I feel like disaster need to come to URL more times than he's already been there. That one time wasn't enough. It was just him breaking the ice, and he ain't really get to do his thing. He'll be back. Uh, he, did, he did a good job, too, in my opinion. He did a good job. Like, for his first time out, I thought he did a good job, especially given the situation. I, I was there, and I thought he, I thought he did a good job. Um, I thought the battle was a lot better than people give it credit for. Yeah, I, I, I think so, too. I thought, I thought his third round was rough. But I thought his first two rounds was good. I, I thought he, I thought he did a decent job for his first time out, especially given the fact that that was the last battle of the night and everybody was tired and worn out. So yeah, yeah, I, I thought he did a decent job. Um, you want to shout out to Twitter and everything? We really need to get ready to go. It's almost ten thirty. Um, yeah. You want to shout out to Twitter, Sway? Yeah, man. Everything is Philly Swain at Philly Swain. P H I L L Y S W A I N. Uh, and phillyswain.com, P-H-I-L-L-Y-S-W-A-I-M.com. All right. All right, thanks a lot for coming on, man. Yo, best interview we had in a while. I think Cycle, Cycle, <laughs> co-signed that. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was a good interview, real good interview. 
Um, let's see, URL's Battle Rap Arena. Check us out tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks again to Philly Swain for coming on and joining us tonight. We out. Smith.